Welcome to Trailer Boys. They're Gooby Welcome Wood. to Trailer Boys. They're Gooby Wood. Whatever. Yeah. Someone was asking, and yes, we'll explain in a second. The theme tonight is bad travel plans. Well, yeah. Should I just explain things? Because so I want to answer something that someone just said, but in doing so, I should just explain. Yeah. Why don't we just get right into it from the start for a change? <laughs> well, then we can, but we can divert. I mean, yeah. there's always time to divert. <laughs> Welcome to Trailer Boys. I'm Sam Brown. This is my brother, Nate Brown. And, uh, we uh that's not true but uh what trailer boys is is this that's the only game show on the whitest kids twitch channel right uh, yeah i mean yeah i mean zucchini boys had an element of when will this guy turn red and start yelling at us but that wasn't really <laughs> so this is like the only official game show and so yeah. what it is is every week we have a theme you submit trailers there's you go to uh i never remember have no mercy dot what is it misery loves dot us thank you and uh, you submit your trailers there, and, and we're going to watch them. And then um, we watch each trailer. Nate and we don't I watch each trailer. We don't watch all the trailers. No, wait. We, oh, my God. Sorry. But we watch the trailers that we watch. We watch each of the trailers that we pick to watch. We pick the list <laughs> from your submissions. We don't yes. choose. We normally no, no, don't no, no, choose no. our own trailers, but Timmy does feel that you guys forget some things sometimes. That no, 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 but I've never I'm done that. The shit. only time the only time I did that was when I was still a guest and you told me I could come on and bring my own ideas. Anyways, you submit trailers. We pick uh we pick through the list and we pick Nate and I go back and forth and pick ones uh, that sound good. We watch the trailers and afterwards we judge the shit out of them. And we give between zero and two points and then you, Gooby Wood chat, get to uh to uh you get to vote and depending on the percentages, you give it either zero, one, two, or three points. Yes. How did I do so far? You're crushing it. So cool. So let me. I'm almost. almost I got one other thing to say. Then yeah. Uh, so Zach was here last week, and he suggested that we do cabin movies because someone asked, "Is tonight's theme inspired by Bar Barbarian?" And the answer is yes, no, and yes, uh, no. Well, no. But so Zach was here last week, and he said you should do like cabin in the woods kind of movies. But, and I like that idea, but it's too, it's not broad enough. So and Zach had never actually seen the show before, and right, he suggested so he this theme it. before even seeing the show. <laughs> right. So then he, so then, well, then he left because he also didn't know the show was uh, three hours long instead of two, and so he was gone. And we were like, "Well, Zach's cabin idea was good, but it's a little too narrow." So we expanded it to bad travel ideas, which obviously can include. Going to a cabin in the woods, uh, but it could also include um, reopening uh, a dangerous camp. It can include uh, shoving your family into a station wagon and driving too far. It can include a lot of things. So Going to South Dakota. Going to South Dakota, like the flyer. Um, so anyways, uh, that's the idea. So we're going to go through the trailers and uh give them points and then there's a season we're in season three right Dave? correct correct there's we're a leaderboard three. i still have the season two trophies that are I'm still working on i'm kind of i'm pretty okay. much making them from hand that's um, amazing and are last year printing them? we bought them i i kind of want to i have a lot mm. of like basic old school like vintage trophy parts and i'm working with sully and like I'm like, I think we could print something weird to put on the toppers, like custom that's ours. So I feel like every year it'll get better. Um, I still owe Flanja the the season winner trophy, which is a more unique trophy. And then the then we have the tournament trophies. So those will be coming out. I'll show you guys 
when we have, yeah, I'll share an image when we get closer to it, but they're, cool. they're still kind of hairy. But um, so, yeah. so, anyways, through the season, you collect points from every time. And JSBX fan uh, said you told the director of a number two movie that his idea was too narrow. First of all, Barbarian was number one when it came out, motherfucker. And I didn't say that until after we didn't say that idea is too narrow until after he was gone. But no, we weren't shooting down his movie idea. He had that idea for this uh, show that we do on the that internet. That he'd never seen. That he'd never that he'd seen. Never so shooting him down is fine and certainly doesn't deserve the laughing guy emoji because that's you laughing at me. And so now you're on my fucking shit list. Although, Timmy, let me say this. What? Maybe what? he was like pushing this theme because it was so narrow because he wanted a two hour show. Zachary? No, but he <laughs> yeah. was talking about. No, but he, he know, knew what the maybe theme was, was for that ahead. show. He was oh, okay, like, maybe he was what? planning ahead. Right. It'll be um, two hours long if there's, o- but, there's only but like yes. a handful of cabin movies. To an- yeah, to answer the question from earlier, though, Barbarian is absolutely a bad travel movie, a bad travel ideas, you know? This is now the second theme that were Zach related that he wasn't able to make the show for. Right. <laughs> but see, I knew last weekend that he wouldn't be here this weekend. And I just, he told me, he's like, I'm going to be out. Of, I'm going to be out of town or, on, or something. Can't do it next week. And I was like, okay, do, 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 do. You know, like yeah. and completely forgot. So uh, I knew that he um, just wasn't like I was. I was like, he told me he was going out of town, and so I just he's like, yeah, next week. Yeah. And I'm like, All right. <laughs> yeah, and I, just I hope was he's like, watching it now. Yeah, he's like, God, these guys are so stupid. Why did I? <laughs> why did I even do that last week? But he he actually had a really good time. And the uh, the winner of last week uh, was one that Zach was very passionate about and loved, and it was great. You know, it's a great trailer. So, I do want to point something out that that Grimward just just noted in chat. So, this is why keeping your username the same were you know like we got to change, we got to fix this, obviously. So, okay. uh, Guy Cogdito, seventy seven, Lobaka, nineteen seventy seven, sixty two, Kit Black, fifty seven, Almobs, fifty three, Flange of fifty one, Panwall, forty eight, Beach that makes you old, forty three, Grimward, forty three, Beach that makes you old, forty three again, Voodoo Cowboy. So <laughs> there's 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 a little mistake here. Um, mm-hmm. And, and we'll have to look into that. And and so I will say, Timmy, um, mm-hmm. normally we end the season and start the tournament when one bar- one person hits 100 points. Right. Last season, we were very not prepared for the tournament to happen. So then the season ended, and then we're like, shit, we're not ready for the tournament. So then we started the new season and then did the season two tournament like kind of halfway through. So it was kind of a nightmare. What the hell? Um, that's crazy. So maybe that's not a good way to end the seasons. But well, we'll figure um, it out. Let's just, yeah. but tonight, I don't want to figure well, it out tonight. We'll figure it out soon. Timmy. Yeah, we got a hype train. I was, thank you, everybody. I was about to start reading off things that are happening. So, uh, we got a bunch of resubs already. Two Gun Toast resub for 24 months, saying 24 months woo. I agree. Thank you. Lobaka resub for a year. Time for some on brand bad plans. Oh, <laughs> you call that a bad plan to resub for a year? Don't worry. We'll make it worth your time. Uh, Tyler r- 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 resubscribe for 16 months, saying in all caps, Barbarian scared me. Good. Marshallton resub for 24 months, saying two years. Uh, capital A, capital A, capital A, capital A, capital A, capital A, capital A. I think they meant ah. Uh, Marshallton uh, then gifted subs to Quattlebot and Lobaka gifted. Uh, pimped in a bo- pimp in the box gifted. Pimp in the box and also resub. Foxy Driftwood resub. Marshallton hey, gifted. Chili, Chili Nico uh, 666 resub. So thank you, everybody, for that. We got people doing bits, memes, uh, internet uh, gold, Hedora. And, uh, whoa, Grimward just gifted a whole bunch of subs. Uh, Noel's poll using bits, David TRS, David Trash, uh, Hedora 225. So thanks, everybody, for all that goodness. That goodness. What do we do next? You, you want to watch the trailer? Oh, do we have coming attractions this week? No. No, you had something. No, I did want to bring. Uh, Oh, I do have one. I have one. What? Okay. Um, I I did want to bring up. So last week, one of the trailers. No, you know, it was fish out of water. Was Was that last week? week? Was that okay? So I did watch. Um, two things about that. The I got a lot of comments about the the YouTube VOD thumbnail. People got it because I used like a uh, aquamarine thumbnail, but put Zach's face over his wife's Uh. body. So, um, I didn't catch that. That's great. <laughs> I will say, um, I just watched, I always try and watch one movie that we watch in the mm-hmm. week. So this week I watched, um, 
witness with Harrison Ford. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, it was actually pretty good. I mean, it's a straightforward thing. It's really funny because it's like Harrison Ford and he's young. It's like his Blade Runner era. I don't know exactly what year it is, but he looks like Blade it's Runner. It's like, Harrison yeah, mid eighties. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, uh, Danny Glover's in it pretty young too. And, and Danny oh. Glover's the bad guy. You find out, wow. I, you know, I, I wanted to put together a Did scene. You spoil in, that movie. No, no, he's the bad guy in the beginning. You, oh, I thought you said you it see. turns out he's the bad guy. No, like no, it was no, no, no. You find out. But, um, okay. but uh, I was going to try and, you know, I didn't plan ahead, so I won't do it. But there's a scene in the in the very beginning of the movie that's just really funny. And I was like, uh-huh. I should play this instead of coming attractions. But I, I noticed that um, Viggo Mortensen, is it Viggo Mortensen? Is yeah. he the um, history of violence guy? Hildago? Hildago? Yeah, yeah, Hildago? yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and Aragorn. Yeah. Uh, yeah, exactly. Exactly. He did a little um, movie called The Lord of the Rings. <laughs> never seen it, but uh, I don't. Wait, have you really never movies. seen it? Oh, of course I've seen it. Um, okay. Non speaking role. He plays an Amish guy, and he's like always in between like Harrison Ford and this other main Amish character guy. He's always uh-huh. there, not a single line. <laughs> he had a bizarre career because in like a year or two after that, he did Texas Chainsaw 3. He had a pretty good role in Texas Chainsaw 3. And it might have been his first like big speaking role. Um, okay, so do we normally show trailer of the week or do coming attractions? Coming attractions is we'll first, do, right? We'll do trailer of the week first last week okay. because that's the one where we kind of like, you know, test the you know right. volume. Show and people stuff. how it works. I got you know, it. Just you make sure just that we can it? hear it. Yeah, yeah, I, I got it going on. Rex uh, was oops. an average American I, man. I can hit play. I got it. Loaded. Fit. In modern society, it's all getting loud, isn't it? About twenty-five thousand right, years ago, I remember are this. In the Wait, are you already playing it? They yeah. Screwed a lot. Well, how so come Rex I'm not in? Went here? on a quest. Hit reload. I'm not. That took him back twenty-five thousand okay. years. You see it now? What Rex wanted? Yeah, was there we go. Okay. Adventure. What Rex? This guy that was in there that ran away. Was he was. Fantasy. Arsed oh, in the Lost I series. I think I've died. If you guys remember Lost, in a Arsed. Time when men he was in men. one episode and he gets blown up by nitroglycerin. That this red. guy here. Oh, oh, you're talking about yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, what's that actor? He's angry. in a bunch of shit. He what played Jay Leno in the uh, HBO the movie well, The Late well, Shift the about the Leno Letterman Wars. The word said, "Witness is great." Kingpin with less semen jokes. It's true. It's true. <laughs> Kept dropping in. What do you get when you send a guy back 25 years? I never remember years? that. That guy's name. A what? massive now, eruption. Is that a fake foot? To the a massive oh, eruption. Cave girl. Never before has the past. Oh yeah, I so forgot about so this part. Much like the present. <laughs> I, I love um, that they freeze it. It's so good. I, Daniel Daniel Robot. I liked the trailer, but I'm I'm still surprised it was trailer of the week. And Encino Man also was way up there too. I feel like it was an off week if that was our trailer of the week. Just mm. because I'm not talking shit, but normally I'm like, fuck, that had everything. And that was that was okay. I think Zach's uh enthusiasm uh carried that too. I mean, I thought it was great, but yes. I also agree. I with liked it. it. I liked it, but you know, I, I, I would say that I, I would feel it would be a trailer of the week contender for sure, mm-hmm. but I'm surprised it was trailer of the week. So, yeah. Uh, uh, Scumming attractions. I, coming attractions. Okay, I, I got one. That's all we got. Oops. Ready? Why, oh. Wait, hold on. Why do I... Oh, do we have to do a... a why did my coming attractions transition not work, guys? Uh oh! Trouble in paradise. All right, let me try it again. Let me try it now. We can still talk. I don't know. Sorry. Abby Sally says, "Could you turn the trailer up a smidge, please?" But, Fuck you. Oh, Abby Sally. Hedora oh. says, "If it was Cave Boys, you'd love it." Yeah, I agree. You're a sexist piece of shit. Would I love it? You know what? It just, it seemed misogynistic. Oh, I get it. Cause you're a groovy feminist. You're forward thinking. You don't want to, uh, don't impose your South Dakotan what? ideals on me. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. My very progressive feminist state. You don't want me to <laughs> your Southern push, Dakota. 
Oh my God. Sis Psychopath resub for 21 months. Love you all. Appreciate you spending these past couple of years with me. GFYDL. GFYDL to you too. Thank you very much. Somebody Wait, change ready for this coming Jeff attraction? YDL. What? Somebody should change their, oh, their that's Twitch a name to Jeff name. YDL. Okay, are we ready for my coming attraction? Yeah, I'm ready to hit the button. I'm waiting for you. Is it okay. a video game? No. It's quiet, guys. Is it louder now? No, no, no. I mean, it's just, it's a quiet trailer. Okay. It's not a trailer. Do you remember this? Do you remember this? I, I oh, mean, I this is a local. You, this is a local news thing from uh, uh, like Omaha oh, or somewhere in Nebraska, like maybe 10, 15 years ago. And it, it kind of became a viral thing. And my daughter and I were like looking at different Halloween stuff yesterday. I was like, oh god, we gotta watch this guy. It's a trailer for October. Yeah, Silent Alley's right. <laughs> this is absolutely. Is that doesn't even look like a mask when you look like he's no turning, it's like part it's, it's like a, a rubber it's yeah. a foam pumpkin that he bought and just like cut it in half he's voguing because like this is a local <laughs> news show and they were basically it was all it was like the nightly news at like 10 o'clock or something every night uh week on the cw well but it was a local affiliate it's yeah. kicks yeah. or whatever and that's just the whatever hey, I try that's to... just like it still was going but anyway so those guys excuse me they were doing like a regular nightly news thing but the their boss was like as long as you do like the news for like 10 minutes up front the rest of the show can be whatever you want see and so those are the guys that just kind of they like they still do the weather but it also is like whatever that's pretty fun. Yeah, like and so, fun. but so he said they had their budget was like for a whole year was like a thousand bucks. So they're like, uh, I guess I'll just buy a black suit, a black bodysuit, and like a pumpkin thing for this, you know. So, anyways, that's that. And I'm glad that we watched it. I think we did you know? too much. We did too we much did. too soon. What do you mean? I mean, we started late. And it's not even 9.30 yet, and we only have trailers to start doing. What else is going on, Timmy? <laughs> um, oh, oh, uh, I showed my daughter Friday the 13th. How'd she like it? She, she liked it. Hey, did you like it? She says, did, yeah. Did she get scared? Did it scare you? Yeah. It has some great jump scares. And, you know, yeah. uh, Does that not have to spoil this. It? Yeah. She, she, you know, like, and even though we've had the talk, she still wanted me to fast forward those parts because she's like, I still don't want to like watch all that. So with you too. Well, right. Um, Especially because like those are some good boobs. Bill so, Nye, the trailer um, guys, his first time watching live and submitting. You guys make my week. Oh, Ooh. you make our week, baby. Thank um, you. I would um, think so. Though, are, are you going to hold off on showing her like Nightmare on Elm Street because I feel like. That does give nightmares. And yeah, well, okay, there's the the deaths, a Johnny Depp scene and uh nightmare is like pretty crazy blood wise, you know. So my idea with the R-rated horror movies with her is we'll do Jason uh, or the first Friday the thirteenth, which she thought was a Jason movie, because everybody does until you see it. I and mean, then and then the Jason. Uh, let me finish, and then Halloween. And then she wants to watch Scream really bad. She's always wanted to watch the Scream movies. I'm like, okay, but you should watch a couple of the uh, old school thriller or uh, slashers yeah. first, so you kind of understand. You know? I would agree. That, that makes. But sense. what about? But are you saying that it's still a Jason movie? I, I feel like it's a Jason. I mean, I, it is did, a Jason movie. I mean, did yeah, the first but, one even have like the hockey mask? Oh, it did, didn't it? But it was his mom. No, 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 no. Have no. The hockey, the hockey mask? mask doesn't come in till part three. What is the cover of? Um, let me see. It's it's the, like the silhouette of a person holding a knife. Let me see. Um, what was your first horror movie? Mine. Oh, it is. I remember this. Okay, interesting. Yeah, and then two. Uh, so the first one is is a Jason movie because people are dying because of Jason. Anyways, uh, but then two, he has a sack on his face. Okay, my first horror film. See, I kind of avoided horror movies too. I was, you know, my parents weren't really too keen on me watching them. So, I mean, as far as like an R-rated 
horror movie. I mean, I think They Live was very early. Uh, Friday the 13th Part 6, Jason Lives, which is still maybe what my favorite. It's a great one. Uh, Wait, what did you say your first one was? Sorry, I was trying to fix it. Possibly They Live. I'm trying to remember, though. I don't feel like... Th- uh, yeah. I, I, I know. Mean- you and your brother have this extremely narrow view of horror movies. Sam and I talked about that a lot last night. It's like, well, horror movies have to be supernatural, which is bullshit. Uh, horror movies have to have like all this stuff. It's like, no. No, I think a horror movie has to be scary and also have to present something of the unknown. They Live is kind of more of a sci-fi thing, but it's got horror elements to it. But That's the so thing. I don't I've know if I would count that. I've been a horror guy. I've been more, I really, more of a sci-fi well, guy. Don't give me your bullshit opinions. But I'm, you know, I'm taking that i'm taking they live as a sci-fi thing but yeah i mean um, but it could be both but also think, uh but i don't think it's super horror no but so i don't know if i count that i would say probably uh i would probably say friday the 13th part six would be uh would you let your daughter watch they live yeah huh. i think she'd love it how old is she now 11 Oh wow! Okay. Plus, there's there's no breastages in that one until the end. There's no sex stuff until the end credits. Timmy, you're an adult. They're called tits. <sighs> what are they? <laughs> um, They're called uh, uh, what is another good one? Shoulder. I told you the, the story. Um, oh God, a my, story. My buddy Ishkan and Mark. We used to rent this indie movie theater in town like every other week. And we would play movies and we would like, you know, mm-hmm. get the movies on Blu-ray and we'd play them and we'd just oh, invite our cool. friends. And it was like fun. an in-theater experience. They sold beer. Yeah. It was really fun. That's Except cool. that, you know, we made a democratic process and I'm not oh, a God. fan of horror movies uh-huh. and these guys love horror movies. And so every fucking time it would be like a horror movie. A very few times. I think the biggest turnout we got was Goonies. But um, I remember one time we watched... Um, Poltergeist, which was my first horror movie, and I was too fucking young to watch oh, horror boy. movies. Yeah. And Poltergeist is a PG thirteen movie, and well, I was like a, a P- little kid, and it scared Poltergeist the fucking shit out of me. Is not rated PG thirteen. Poltergeist is rated PG. Poltergeist PG. Okay. is one of the go. reasons they created the PG thirteen rating because Poltergeist is so fucked up, and it's only rated PG. And because so really, scary. yeah, because they could only do PG or R. And I think anything with Steven Spielberg involved, he'd go into the MPAA and flop his huge movie uh, dick on the table and be like, this movie's PG. I don't care what's in it. And also, I'm making one where a guy pulls people's hearts out and eats them. That's going to be PG too, motherfuckers, you know? Yeah, and uh, Temple of Doom, right. So, uh, yeah, he could do whatever he wants. But after that, after those two films, they're like, okay, we need a middle ground. <laughs> you know, so, yeah, yeah. Uh, those are two of the main reasons there's a PG-13. Beetlejuice the- is also PG, yes, but he says the F-bomb in it. But besides that, it's pretty kid-friendly. So, I, don't, I, I think don't that think can P- stay PG. I think, I don't think Beetleju- Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, I don't think Beetlejuice really scared me too much, but... The, no, the well, I think they're asking because there's an F word in it. Okay. The, the fallout from um, Poltergeist for me was that, you know, you will remember this, Timmy. I know we have a lot of younger people in yeah. chat that don't remember that. Like when a TV was, wasn't on a channel, when it was analog, now they're like digital yes. HD. So when you go off a channel, it's black or there's like a screen there. Or a blue but it used screen. To be, yeah. yeah, blue screen. It used to be it was white static and that's the mm-hmm. whole thing is she's like touching the white static. So pretty much my entire, like up until they stopped doing that, you know, I was like well into my twenties when they still had that shit going on, I would see it and it would like give me like goosebumps. It would send like chills down my spine because it would remind me of poltergeist and it would right. take me back to that emotional, like memory locked in my head right. of like, being this little kid and like fucking scared out of my mind. You know, Nate, so, are you looking at me right now? Yeah. They're here. Does that scare you still? A little bit. <laughs> a bunch of those people died, too. Yeah, it's a cursed film. Sam and I were talking about that one and The Exorcist. Uh, cursed films. Uh, Shudder has a series. I haven't watched yet, but I've wanted to called Cursed Films. And those are like two of the first ones they talk about. Um, uh, Zelda. What was her name? Zelda. Annie Hayes says that tiny spooky lady poltergeist still scares the shit out of me. Yeah, Waiting Zelda. For the sequel what, yeah. where they finally figure out she's the monster. Don't do it, telling you, Caroline. Oh um, wow, I haven't seen any of the sequels. That's interesting. I didn't know she becomes a bad guy. That's cool. Uh, oh, Twilight Zone. You know, yeah, Melissa yeah. was really good at like, you know, deep actors' names. She'd be like, who oh, is that guy? Melissa. You remember who's, Melissa? 
our friend from New Jersey? My oh, ex-girlfriend. No, your ex-girlfriend? Yes, okay, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. She was, that was one of, it's an odd thing to like in somebody, but like when she knows the actor's names that like barely get any screen time and you're like, oh, the yeah, guy yeah, from yeah. that thing, like the background actor from like three movies, you know, it's like. Well, I'm like that. Do you have her number? <laughs> yeah, I do. She has a kid I now. Just, Both of you guys have kids. Oh, well, there you go. You broke up a long time ago. It'd be, it'd be fine, right? I'd be I'd be super pumped if you guys dated. I'm Her and I kidding. still hang out a lot. I'm just kidding. Her kid calls um, me Uncle Nate. He saw a picture of Chuck Klosterman. He was like Uncle Nate. <laughs> I can see I was it. Like, Chuck oh. Klosterman. Yeah. Uh, that's pretty funny. Lobaka says she'd be super pumped if she and Timmy dated. We used to do. Uh, never mind. So this <laughs> this rabbit hole goes rabbit holy. Is it gonna get weird? No, 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 no. It was just, it was, okay. it was no, it well, was like, don't... Hey, remember when you on tour doing comedy and we came out and saw you and hung out? Yeah. That was fun. Yeah. Do you mean when I was on tour with those folk bands? Yeah. Yeah. Golden bloom and the grown up noise. Shout out to those folks. Um, <laughs> yeah, dude. Nyamix. There's a, huh? <laughs> What's nine mixing? Can we watch trailers? Why don't you just shut up? We're it's at only a we're at a Yeah, we're doing great. And I'm I'm ready to show one if you guys want to. Um, you know, I'm ready. I got one it's picked out to start off with. But uh, I mean, we yeah, we got uh, we did our coming attraction. We had a good time. It was the guy in the pumpkin mask. Um, we're think, you know, I know I, I'm getting ahead of it, but I'm saying I think. That we should do somewhat spooky themes for the rest of the month. I agree. Now, I'm not going to be here next week. We, you might be able to do one with Sam, it sounds like, but you know. Uh, but yes, I agree. Somewhat spooky themes. I mean, this one lends itself to spookiness pretty well. But you're th- saying we should no, maybe yeah, exactly. do even no, it more. Does. Should we? Are you saying here and out we should pick even more directly spooky? I don't know. I just threw it out there. I didn't really have any uh, dogging in the bathtub wants to get down. <laughs> Thank you for the subscription. Dogging wow. in the bathtub. What does that in? mean? There's a know. few things that could mean. Uh, okay, so dog? let's go. Uh, should I start a trailer? I yeah, yeah, I'm ready. I got my right, hand cool. on the button. Okay, ready. Here we go. First trailer. We like hills. I love when uh, I don't know the name of the production company. So Dude, did you see that one logo? Is a lion wearing sunglasses. Hold on. Here. <laughs> so this is where your meth guy lives. It's not meth that we're here for. You my girls. Aren't they beauties? Now, I assume whoever told you about the star leaf clued you into the code of conduct? No photos, no video, no GPS. You can't take any seeds or clippings. What the hell is that? It's not that much, okay? I just I just thought I should get some clippings to really? go home and make some clones. Jesus Christ, you guys are freaking out for nothing. Just... Oh, oh, this ganja is out of this world. I didn't it know there was going to be a monster. Earth. You mean to tell me that this... Star Leaf is actually from outer space. We oh are my god. Space. Some people think marijuana is a gateway drug. In this case, it is. It's a star. Leaf. <laughs> yes! Why is it on your wall? Why is it still in your head? Listen, man, I know you're suffering from some PTSD. That's why I brought you here. What happened to you over there in Afghanistan? Well, what man. did you do back there? You killed someone? What the fuck? Uh- also, is she surprised he may have killed someone in a war? <laughs> What'd you do in that war? Did you kill somebody? Yeah! I had to. It's my job. The world's I mean, fucked up. Who's dancing? This looks good. Oh my god. Some highs are out of this folks want to get high. <laughs> Alright. Is this Nate Pandering? It kind of is. I Welcome mean, I feel God in the weed, my brother. I feel some pandering happening. This has so many things I love. Yeah, the hot picks like a scorpion right there. You see the scorpion? Yeah, what the hell? Oh my God! There's a band called. Wait, 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 wait. So that's an actual dispensary or medicinal farm was part of the production on this? Possibly. Okay, so that's interesting. Um. 
That might be the greatest trailer I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> the uh, context is so long that it got cut off, so I don't know all of it. But um, uh, if you double click on it, it should expand the box to show you more. Oh yes. Oh no, it says there was a problem. Hold on, kiddo. What was that? I can read it. Hi. You want to read it, or should we talk yeah, about I'll it first? It. I'll read it. Okay. Um, let me just put the poll up first. So that one's called Starleaf. Holy shit! This is why. This is why I love the show. Like already, like this yeah. one trailer, I think is better yeah, than everything great. we saw last week. Starting off yeah. strong, which is fucked up. It says a married couple take their friend on a trip to help with his PTSD, and they go to the Olympic Mountains mm -hmm. to find a legendary a string range of in, weed in, in Washington, mm -hmm. aka the Starleaf. Yet there are rules to smoking this amazing weed. Rules they soon violate and find themselves in a fight for their lives against extraterrestrial forces. Nate pandering. <laughs> well, that's there's what it says a scantily end. clad woman who dances at the end of the trailer. It's really yes, empowering, and I know how much Nate loves empowering women. Thank you very <laughs> much. <laughs> this is so Nate Pandering. So it's it's just like it I love how it starts off slow and then it mm -hmm. drops like the hook, you know. Yeah, and then there's like the monster hand. A monster hand. Um mm -hmm. there's like rules. I love it when it's like there's rules and it's broken. It has yeah, an yeah, alien yeah. crossover thing. There's like some some war flashback stuff that they just kind of ham fist in there. Yeah, and there's um, weird like conspiracy theory kind of yes. like uh, shots of stuff, like uh Illuminati ish kind of look at things. There's that trailer And then the girl in the bikini. Oh, and then the the, the dubstep comes in yeah, and the, the guy's dubstep. dancing. And then the name of the band is Droideka, which you know what Droideka <laughs> is? No. Droideka is those, okay, you remember the Star Wars prequels? Droideka yeah. are those rolling bad, you know how the droids are all bad guys? The rolling yeah. ones that are like little tanks that create shields around themselves? Okay, okay. Those are called droidekas. Cool. So, well, no, it's not cool. What I'm saying no, is it's really, it's cool. <laughs> well, it's not cool to know that. Uh, it's dorky, right? But the fact that this it's dubstep cool, dude is called droideka, that's like, yeah. Per it's perfect for this, you know. We're making this indie pot space movie. <laughs> let's well, get our Martha let's says... get my we'll get my boy Travis <laughs> to do the the dubstep. He's got this great act called Droid Deck. <laughs> Lubaka okay. says, this is the value added from having Timmy on here. Right. I agree. You, I agree. You, well, you talk about like your ex-girlfriend who can name every uh, person like that. There are those of us out there that have that mutant ability, and it's good. Anyways, uh, chat was 80% on that, so that's three points. Yeah. Two I'm points. two points plus. I would give a bonus point, but I don't know if you're feeling it as much as I was. I mean, I loved it, but I also, it's the first trailer, so I don't know, man. Okay. It's, it's up to you. I'll give it two. I'll give it two. And you'll give it okay. two? I'll and give it Chad's two. giving it is 80% three, right? Three. Three. Okay, so that's seven points for Guy Cognito. Holy shit. Starting strong. He is, you know what? With trailers like that, he's going to fucking really pull apart on that, uh, really on that uh, leaderboard, like, man. Wait, I mean, Guy, you bring us Starleaf quality every week, you're going to win this motherfucker. <laughs> That was fucking. Let me yeah. Let me say real quick. It was a quick. good one, man. Um, also, I think that'd be a great watch party movie sometime. Yeah, Guy Incognito is already at the top. I mean, that's that's the heat that he brings. That you know? is the heat. That that's is the heat. that's so fucking sick. I'm yeah. like, I I would rather watch that again than pick a next trailer. <laughs> you know what though? I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. No, but um, I mean, I'm not a hundred percent against. It. <laughs> <laughs> I have a feeling, Nate. I don't want to. I don't want to uh, uh, talk us uh, talk out of school here. But uh, I have a feeling we will be watching that trailer again tonight. <laughs> if you know what I mean. Yeah. Um, so, I. What do we got? It's funny here because like we have a lot of people. You know, like mm -hmm. I'm looking at some of these and I'm like, every one of these is something I want to watch. But it's yeah. all by like the same person. So now, I'm well, like, of the Ugh. three that you're looking at right now, I'd pick the bottom one. But I mean, they they all three sound good. So do you know these? Or are you just saying? Like, I'm aware of that last movie. Okay. I'm aware of the first movie. I'm not aware of the middle one that that person submitted. So mm. I know. All right, I want to go with this because I like the name of it. Oh, also, I think it's gonna have someone. I think there's a repeat actor, possibly. So, ooh, we'll I love happens. when that happens. Not from obviously, if they wouldn't be from the Starleaf movie. Oh, there's one other thing we need to say about the Starleaf, and I was gonna quick do my research and forgot to do it. But um, isn't 
the Land Before Time series, at least the first film, predicated on their search for the Starleaf? I believe it is. Let us look. Okay, the Land Before Time film, not the whole series, Wikipedia. Okay. Labaka uh, says tree stars, not star leaves. Oh, tree stars. Thank you, Labaka. Uh, so similar. Okay, also, for- yeah, I'm sorry, but those oh, no, are, you can mix you can mix those movies together. Probably be pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> the Land Before Time is a prequel to Star Leaf. A lot of people said tree stars. Oh, is this a real trailer? Oh, it's it's just one of these. This is the actual trailer coming up after it, though. Okay. Pre-trailer trailer. This will be the retrain. The real trailer. Born to be a cowboy. Born to be a cowboy. I'm so sick of doing this. I'm sick of waiting for the world to end. Let's oh my move God! To California. There's Fleet and then Daniel Roebuck. Is that a weird repeat, man? That's a weird actor to have. Uh, yeah, I think so. I've always Daniel wanted Robuck is that class of actor that like. Yeah, dude, he's also in *Rivers Edge*. You know, we're not looking for any trouble. We are. Oh no! Did Flea get killed? Birds. <laughs> dude, Flea gets murdered. The dome. Oh my Siders. goodness! You know, maybe this wouldn't have happened if you'd look like normal folks. Oh. In a place you won't find on any map. Just let the cops in. Come on, you moment. saw them. If we don't do anything, nobody will. It's a beautiful moment. So, do you think that's Dan Robux real hair? Utah. Uh, hunting. That's the John Cryer's real hair. Whoa. I want to watch this. This looks good. Actually, it does look like he's real hair. Whoa. Well, you boys are that having quite a day. That was a great uh, shot. They were strangers. You're just a couple of stupid punks playing cowboy in a land where legends are part of the landscape. I'm gonna rock, I'm gonna roll until the cows come home. Tell me, pretty baby, if you think you're like that. I mean, a hot girl twirling her gut like that. Whoa! Whoa, whoa! That guy. Automatic yeah. button that didn't work. Yeah. 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 Take my dudes. Yeah. It's mirror time. <laughs> yeah, gotta love him. Take my Listen, I know I talk about. Oh, now it has studs on it. I know I talk about Don LaFontaine a lot, but <laughs> hearing him say dudes, like that is the best. I mean, I love hearing like a, a trailer voice guy say that, dudes. You know. Hold on, I'm gonna. I was trying to hit the problematic <laughs> button, but um. Oh, okay. Didn't work. I gotta, I gotta fix the thing real quick. I like, can I say something real quick? Dudes. There's something yeah, else course, I need to please. say though, because uh, <clears throat> I, I forgot to say this last week. Booby. <laughs> I need to make that a drop. <laughs> Dude, why did I not? Na- like, we had Zach in here. We're talking about horror stuff, and I completely forgot to say that the entire time. Yep. Boobies. Um, dudes, because they're cowboys. Yeah. Um, anyone else familiar with the film Straight to Hell featuring Joe Strummer and some other weirdos? It's kind of a, it's another punk Western like that. So I wonder which of these came first. The, the Ilium Works says it's such a big, long part of Zach's new movie, too. <laughs> oh, that's good. Did you get that, Nate? Are you no, there? No, sorry. I was, I was trying to fix something. Hey, Frank Howley's writing. What up, Frank Howley? Hey, thanks, Frank. Look at that. To that, I say, booby. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but so I was saying that, and I said, I can't believe I forgot to say that while Zach was here, and said, and the Ilium work said it's such a big, long part of Zach's new movie, too. Boobies? Yeah. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, Nick. Got it. Uh, oh, Frank says, hey, we watched the punk the punk J.J. Marvin sketch on stream earlier. 
Well, yeah, we just showed a punk trailer too. Everything's coming up punk. All right. Life that was based on GG. It does. It's weird. That was a ba- that sketch was based on GG Allen. And I remember uh, Zach and I, I think he pitched it and then he and I had to wrote that one while the other three worked on another idea because I don't think the other guys were like, GG Allen, what? And we're like, and Zach, and I was like, I've seen that movie a whole bunch. Because when my ska band was recording Waiting. their album, the only, yeah, the only movie that was available for us to watch in the waiting room while he was like mixing stuff and waiting for people to record parts and stuff was Hated. That was the only thing there. It was Hated and then a huge stack of Playboys. So we were like, well, one of these is less boring than the other. <laughs> so yeah. Playboys are awesome. Well, Very right, simple. but I mean, watching Gigi Allen do a corporate gig. Yeah. The the one the part where he does the corporate gig where he's just supposed to be like a motivational speaker, and then he puts the banana up his 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 poop shoot, and then pulls it out and throws it at those guys. That's that's cinema. That's art. That's art. <laughs> that is cinema. Uh-huh. Timmy, did you throw poop in your ska band? No, but the first show we did, we didn't have very many horn parts written yet, and I was the only horn player. So for a lot of the first show we ever did, I was wearing a Superman outfit, and I had a paint roller taped to a leaf blower, and we put a bunch of toilet paper on it, so I was shooting toilet paper at everybody. So it's like the opposite of throwing poop at them. <laughs> um, What would you give dudes? I think Chuck Oh, yeah, we're 60%. supposed to talk about that. Yeah, so that's two points. Yes, two points from chat. I would get. I mean, it was pretty good. Um, It definitely made me want to watch it. It had a lot of crazy stuff in it. There's like lots of gunfights and weird, weird characters and stuff, and a really great shot of the Volkswagen Beetle like crashing into the camera, which is pretty cool. I think I give that two points. Yeah, you're gonna give it one. I am gonna give it one. I could tell. um, I liked it. But, you know, it's so tough coming after Starleaf. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Frank Howley uh, and anyone that's coming with Frank Howley, you guys missed the what I am already saying is going to be the trailer for Starleaf. We'll watch it again tonight, I swear to God. Um, uh, So three three from the boys, two from chat. That's dudes from Lobaka. Um, Racking up Cinco. Yes. Yes. Okay, what's yeah. next here? Mm-hmm. Okay. What's and we are trying to only play trailer? one from each oh, submitter, so just Jarek. so we know. What'd you say, buddy? Uh, Jarek Sear says, what's the worst slash funniest trailer y'all have seen at this point? There's so many. We try and do, <sighs> Sam and I, if we watch something, um... I haven't done it in a bit. I just haven't had time. But like every every episode where we'd find something that would just be like we'd have to watch it like three times in a row because it was so ridiculous. We would do like a clip of, and there'd be like those are up on the VOD channel too. So oh, certain okay. things like the Satanic Killer, mm-hmm. pretty funny stuff. Dudes is streaming on Peacock. I don't know. God damn it! My fucking it's on Plex it's though. Fine. It's on Plex. For the week. And then as soon as I get in doing some Timmy time. What's happening? One sec. All right. What'd I'm you break now? Breaking everything. I like really random comments in chat, like Mr. Slipman's in the tub saying, y'all seen Fallen with Denzel Washington What's and John Gubbin? Okay. Uh, say something now. Say something. I know yeah. you, that, yeah, yeah. I got you. I got you. Sorry. What did Some I people miss? are saying love on a leash. But yeah, love worst. on a leash was up there, it's but really also way up there. It had like some extra, like some of like the behind the scenes stuff that we figured out about the movie after we saw the trailer made it like even better. Right, yeah. Uh, I was saying the dudes is streaming on Peacock, but also Plex. You're a Plex guy, right? No, I thought you liked Plex. Oh, you are. Oh, that's right. We we don't say that anymore because we Maybe say again. hold on Pluto, Pluto, right? I, I I'll I'll be streaming for hours and hours and hours. Never have a problem with this. And then you know every time we use this, headset, what is going on now? Stream, it gets full fucked up. What's happening? Oh wait, no, here it goes. Maybe it's just low battery or something. They can't hear us. No, no, no. My my headset dies. It's battery powered. Oh, oh well, 
Yeah. Well, I think you just solved your own problem there. I stream all week and then it's suddenly wrong on Sunday. Yeah, because it's on batteries. You're running your batteries out, doing all your goddamn streaming, you you millennial. I have to I have to manually reset it. I didn't know you were right there listening to me curse. Okay, hold on. You did you say jizz? Don't say jizz. Go ahead and break everything one more time and fix it. I'll be right back. Okay. All right. Are you parenting? Yeah, which I can do because that bit wasn't all that great, and it's over. It was from last week. <laughs> do you guys ever watch trailers on this show? No. I mean, here's the thing. We already saw the winner. We already saw the best trailer. <clears throat> the only thing is I have, like, one sip left, and I was going to let him go do the thing while I get one of these, okay? Oh, yeah. Um putting the thumb on the scale. I mean, look, chat and I rarely agree, um, but chat gave that 80%. So I feel like some people out there know what's up. Um, I don't, and, and we have a good amount of trailers tonight too, which is good, which is funny because it's like, we were so ahead of schedule and we're like, Oh, I guess we have nothing to do except start watching trailers. And I was like, let's slow it down. We don't want to rush this. And now I think we're behind again and we have only watched two trailers. Um, I'm going to talk to you while I choose another trailer. You forget to vote, so it would be even higher. Um, yeah, I should call it when the voting happens. <laughs> Principal Roll said, it's not even 10 yet. We've already watched two trailers. We're way ahead of schedule. Yes. Um, you didn't know what to submit yours. I, I, I like this theme because I feel it's like pretty wide. Timmy's muted. But uh um, muted. Here I am. Okay. I was go. saying I got a. I streamed last night. Stream tonight. I got you to. You uh, last night? Oh yeah. You and say. Yeah, dude. And you know, so I got it. But these are kid nights too. I can't. You know, I want to stream. I want to make Mars. I want to watch trailers. But I also got to uh, hang out. You know, my daughter's cool too, so she deserves time. Uh, so what was I gonna do? We're. It's my turn to pick a trailer. Correct. And I was gonna go with. Uh, where the hell was it? Oh, there we go. This is, uh, you know, you guys have probably had this one before. So let me pick this other one because I've never heard of this. So we'll do this. All right. All right. Ready? Yes. Did you put the batteries back in your headphones? Ah, it's summer. And it's time to relax and enjoy the world's most popular recreational activity. Yes, Fishing. <laughs> Fishing. What'd you catch Fishing. on? Wow. My hearing. A sport as challenging as it is exciting. Try this for bait. Ah. Yes, Uh-oh. it's blood hook. Oh. Wow. And fishing oh. was never like this. What? What? Is it? Blood it's hook the movie. casts That's you into the heart of the world famous musky madness fishing contest. Oh, muskies are weird too. It's him! It's him! He's doing it! Oh. Musky fishing is Various a whole thing. Contestants we're all like time bombs waiting to go off! Boom! And the one fisherman who's the most unique fisherman of them all. <laughs> the master fisherman. That's awesome. This is an extremely this nice shit. master caster will teach you all the angles. Except they are maybe showing too He'll many reveal kills. his prize winning methods Whoa. for selecting and preparing his own bait. <laughs> Yes, fellow anglers, this is your chance to learn the art of planting your hook and riding nice in here. your cat. Yeah, it's weird and awesome. So come on down and join the master at this most delightful pastime. Blood hook. Blood hook. Where the catch of the day is you. Bloodhook is filled to the gills with a talented <laughs> cast of what young new stars. <laughs> what is this? It's like I thought the trailer was done. And it's it's like, Bloodhook has lots of chance. By David chance. Herbert. We, I, I have and to go back to that. I have to this is <laughs> Catch of the day is you. Bloodhook is ending. filled to the gills with a talented Perfect cast ending. of young stars. Perfect ending. Catch of the day is you. <laughs> done. There's still 45 seconds left. So yeah. Come on Later. down. <laughs> Enjoy the master time. at this most delightful so really path. No more going back. Yeah. You got Blood it. hook. <laughs> Where the catch of the day <laughs> is 
with you. Perfect Bloodhook is filled to what? the gills with a talented cast of young new stars. Young new stars like this. Lavishly face. produced by David Herbert. And expertly directed by James Mallon. <laughs> See Bloodhook and learn all the tricks for catching even the most elusive species. <laughs> And That's a good scream. <sighs> so pack up your gear and get ready for a most unusual fishing expedition. <sighs> Bloodhook. You can't worm your way out of this one. See Bloodhook. Fishing was never like this. Fishing is rude. <laughs> Damn. Fishing is rude. That was I'm a still good one. Blood left. Yeah, I love also how comically large the lure was yeah well and the fish but uh, muskies are a thing muskies are big and musky like the musky fishing is like its own weird subculture within the culture of of fishing <laughs> resident steevel and lydia petunia making the same joke right on top of each other but it's a good joke Holds wait what's now. this movie called <laughs> <laughs> watch blood hook it's a wacky it's not on tubi is it it doesn't say tubi here it says plex and peacock uh, pulls up now. I just, I really okay. enjoy that. He's like, I, I love the change up and tone of voice in the middle. Yeah, blood hook. Has all these great, but it was, it was also a joke because he's like, all these great young actors, and they showed like the dead kids. Yeah, that actually, that part with like the corpse thing, I thought that was really interesting. It looked like you know, um, Michael Jackson's like zombie paint makeup, you know, prosthetic. Yes, yeah, it did a lot. That's what I thought too, actually. I'm gonna give that two points. I I liked it. It was I liked it a lot too. Zany, two points. Wacky. It was great. It was really zany. What's uh What's chat looking like? They're gonna do here. Oh, they're almost done. Let's see. Oh, it's kind of close in chat. Is it? There's a three point difference. Some people are three not votes. into it. Huh? Three of you can change the tie to this. All right, fifty six percent. Yes. So that's barely, only yeah. That's two points, right? That's two points. So that's, that's six, six points. points. Who's getting blood hook? Kit Black. Thank you for bringing fire kit black. Yeah, dude. All right. According to Letterboxd, it's on 2B. Letterboxd? Okay. Letter Letterbox where's it playing thing is often panel. wrong. Uh Just Watch is what I rely on, at which Letterbox goes through Just Watch, but I feel like it's never right. I don't know if they're using a different region or what, but I just looked it up on Just Watch directly, and it says Peacock and Plex. And Just Watch is – I've only seen Just Watch be wrong once, and I've been using it for, like, two years. You know what I found that I really enjoy? I mean, that? like, you would think there'd be an easier way to, like, search something, and it tells you where it's on, and, like, a few mm -hmm. things do it, but they're kind of not great at it. Um, the one that I found okay, Black works is saying it is on Tubi, so easiest is uh -huh. if you have if you have Roku and you just mm -hmm. do search in Roku, it like searches every like app and stuff too, like in Roku, even shit really? you don't have. Yeah, and I'm like, wow, that's fucking great. So big fan of Roku. Full disclosure, that's cool. I have lost a lot of money in Roku stock, and I'm still holding on to it. Seriously, <laughs> that's yeah. funny. I was like, Roku's great. Okay, so if and you then, click you know. on... Okay, that's weird. You know, maybe I should start using Just Watch through Letterbox Because, yeah, it says to be there. Kit says it's on to be. So, huh. Interesting. Either way, fuck yeah to blood, to blood hook. Right? Yeah. Good Good. Good call. Good call. Is KB. it my turn? No, uh, that was me. So, it's your turn. Yes. All right, you ready? I am ready. Moving right along. Oh, I like in the title. Ooh, for a way out ball. For a way out ball, is that what it said? For a way out ball, come see the ghost of the Invisible Bikini. She's the Favorite swingingest kind. ghost you've ever yearned for. Haunting wow. a pre-will reading seance. <laughs> I thought I made it clear to you and your wretched crew that you would be disposed of everybody before I read the will. What you have to do is to see that my rightful heirs get the money. I, I thought it was Boris. Oh, wow. He did lots of stuff. With him, lots of yeah, weird stuff. Man, here's Look one at that. Haunted house. Yeah, the man. Gang wants to investigate. What are all these strange people doing here? Wow, those guys are too old. Be doing that. 
Nancy Sinatra. Nancy Sinatra. I'm listening. She was smoking out. And very cool. Boots are made for walking is such a dope fucking tip. It is. Basil Rathbone? Oh, he was the really old guy. What's going on here? I'm, I got it loading. This, this reminds me of that, like, Elvis. Hey, my trailer stopped on this end. Television repairman. It's like loading. Do you want to hit reload? Yeah. It's, what the hell is going on here? Wait, now it's... Oh, Jesus Christ. All right, hold on. Who's Piccolo Pooba? I don't know. The theorists look it up for us. Okay, I was Lazy. still at... Lazy. I was still at the guys playing instruments. Yeah, yeah. And sorry, I paused I'm still it. paused. Oh, you paused okay. it. Okay, go ahead. Now you unpause it. <sighs> Gotta do everything. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Okay, now there's a gorilla. But is there... Are they traveling in this, though? Television I guess they went to the mansion. <laughs> Mint music. I. <laughs> That's for maybe sex and the single ghoul. I love this music. <laughs> that's a tall man. Well, that's a taller man. That's a girl. Hit by Raiden. They would have said her name in the credits, right? Here's a movie that has more than everything. Oh. It's camp. You can't just say it's camp. <laughs> Don't we decide? That's... Yeah, that's interesting. Meanie Meanie says, I hate this. <laughs> There's Nancy. Yeah, I'm with Steve. Well, I think there was a guy in brown face there for a second. Why me? Why me all the time? Okay. That was wild. I mean, Killer girl... DLS made a great point. They said, how many of these people are dead or MAGA? <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Um, I feel the movie should have been called The Ghost, The Invisible Ghost in the Bikini. Because right. the bikini was her, invisible. Right. Because we didn't see her nipples. So then it wasn't invisible. Did you hear what they said at the very beginning about her, though? They said, here comes the swingingest ghost you've ever yearned for. And I was mm. like, I don't know, movie. I've yearned for a lot of ghosts. All right. The poll is up now. I, I'll say this. It's funny because we've talked about like the 80s movie comedy. And then we were like, uh -huh. yeah, then the resurgence of like that 90s, like horny sex comedy. But then like... In the late forget, 2000s or early we forget yeah. like there's shit like this this was 66 right. and like you know a lot of those beach blanket bingo stuff could have been like in the same thing i wonder what the 70s like horny booby comedies would have been i don't know i mean that's when horror really started to take off um and that's when i mean 70s is maybe my favorite decade of film too because there's a lot of good like drama and stuff like Oops. that so i don't know 70s boobs are like all like whoop you know, like wait, I mean, I didn't, wasn't looking at you. What's your explanation? What's your? You mean like pointy? Boobs. I thought that. No, I think sixties boobs are like that. Sixties boobs are like this, but seventies boobs are like whoop. When I think about the whoop. torpedoes, I think like disc, 60s. disco boobs. Yeah, I'm not saying. I'm saying like disco boobies, like whoop. Okay, I kind of get it now. Kentucky Fried movie. Yeah, yeah that was lots of boobs. Wow. Oh, yeah. Chat Tons did not like that, and it only got one point. I. Wow. I think I kind of only want to give it one point, too. I felt like it was a little. You know what's funny? Is I feel like, in a way, it was a little much. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. It, it reminded me a lot of that weird Elvis movie we watched. I don't even remember that. It was, was like here? a weird zany Elvis movie that was very similar. And I think there was also a guy in a gorilla suit, you know? Are you talking about the one that had Peter Sellers in it that we watched a few weeks ago for party time? And there was an elephant and stuff? I don't know. This one definitely had okay. Elvis in it. Okay, Elvis I don't remember like, an Elvis one. Okay. Yeah. Um, anyone remember the Elvis one? All right. So 
Well, the travel, like they they came to this house. So when we talked about yeah. it before, we were talking about how like there's it's like okay you know like a, a mansion. Like if you're if you're like visiting a mansion, stuff like that. That that seemed like a destination thing. Um, all right. So chat gave it one. You gave it one. I gave it two. That's four points going to Vadu Kaboy. You have me there for a second. Um, okay. Let's Ooh, do Island a... Player says Barbarian was nuts. I just left. In the middle of it? You should have stayed for the end. Yeah, it's a good end. Timmy, I'm going to grab a quick drink. Shut up. You got to parent. You got to parent. I'm I just need kidding. The... Go for it. Alcohol. Keep talking. I was drinking uh, water, but hi, everybody. It was Tickle Me. That was the Elvis movie. It was called Tickle Me. <clears throat> Timmy Watt horror movies you're gonna watch this October. Um well I've already watched three. <laughs> Oops. Uh we watched uh Corpse Bride. I watched uh The Brides of Dracula. And then tonight uh watched one that does not have uh is not about brides called uh Friday the thirteenth. Have you guys ever seen Friday the thirteenth? So oh, I could watch Bride of Chucky, could have kept the theme going, but uh, I watched uh, Friday the 13th because my daughter is 11 and I'm like, do you want to watch an R-rated like horror movie that's really going to go for it? And there it was. So you chose that. I told her to choose between Freddy and Jason and she wisely chose Jason. Sith Psychopath says, I just picked a really huge spiky booger and it was super relieving. Uh, that is one of the best oh, feelings. Yeah. You know what's an even better feeling, though? A really good, healthy poop. And it, there's a phrase that I, I used once in a tweet, but I think about it all the time, is uh, freshly pooped butthole. Think about it. Like when you have a big, good, nice poop, how good that feels for a while afterwards, right? A freshly pooped butthole. Are we talking? Are we? You guys understand? Slipman's in the tub says, I'm eating, Timmy. Are you there, Nate? I thought you came Yeah, out. yeah. I have Crohn's disease, so I don't have much to say about fucking... Oh, like, you <laughs> haven't shits. had a good... You don't They're have few and many far good between. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm sorry. I forgot about that. Uh, but jealous. a really healthy, like, where you barely have to wipe. It's all good. It's good. Anyways, uh, sorry. Um, it's all right. Rub it in. Well, I'm not going to rub poop under my chest. Is it my turn? No. Yes. Whose turn is it? It's, huh? it's it's your turn. Okay, thank you. Ghost in the Invisible Bikini was picked by me, Nate. Voodoo Cowboy was that one. Okay. Okay, I'm going to watch this one. I don't know what it is. Uh, the context doesn't mention how travely it is, but there is an actor in it that we all enjoy. Wait, oh, Here sorry. we go. God, let's play these long trailers tonight. What you do now? No, hold on. I don't know. Paused. Uh, oh, hold on. Uh, before, I just wanted to, I forgot to read the context. Because some of these might need context. This one says, mm -hmm. party at my dead uncle's mansion. Also, the mansion is haunted by said dead uncle and his girlfriend who died while she was still hot. And the ghosts need help to stop the uncle's lawyer from stealing the estate. Also, there's a gorilla and a Frankenstein and some kind of lump monster. Love it. <laughs> yeah, well, I, it. that was definitely uh, what we saw. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Reuben Farr needed company. That's it. Why don't you get out of this house and make yourself a friend? No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Uh, no. Acting is so weird. And oh, no. needed customers. Excuse me. That's off. You've got a big. Problem. Success! Work! Fate brought them together. Hello, Reuben. What a tremendous day. What say we motor on over to the seminar and get you started on trolling. Express to success. No. Nope. What? I guess you're pretty broken up about your cat. Why don't you keep your hands off other people's refrigerators? Why don't you bury your cat in sea? We can save water. You don't need to bury him out in the desert. He'll be frost. Like in the nice. That's a good idea. So they hit the road. This is the perfect 
responsible bearing a cat. Any cat in their right mind would be happy as a clam to be married here. Ooh, that was now shocking. you have to admit that. It looks really weird. cool. Yes, you do. Like, there uh, hasn't been anything. The Star Trek. Trek. Solid, very good. Yeah, and Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey. Yeah. This is the right spot. It's going to get weird now. You have to be back before the seminar is over. Jeez. Look at those shoes. My cat I can eat a whole water belly. You didn't even get one person to that stupid seminar. <laughs> Ruben and Dan. Who's the biggest failure in this room? Raise your hand, Dad. <laughs> Starring Crispin Glover. Ow! I am a Republican. Howard Hesper. Oh, it's Howard Hesper. Huh? Right? Is that you? That's Karen Black. And Karen right? Black. Yeah. <laughs> Ruben and Dave. They don't know where they're going, but they're on their way. I gotta hand it to you, Ruben. That was El Smarto. Why, you really know how to make an impression. Um, wow. That was great. That- so that was a great trailer. I I feel like if I watch that movie, I'd get real sick of it. But as a trailer, it's great. You know what I mean? Yeah. I feel like that movie has that energy the entire hour and a half or whatever. And it might be like, okay. <laughs> yeah. The funny thing is, I feel like, you know, in whatever show we were doing before Trailer Boys was the official name. Again, the poll's yeah. up right now. And I think Panwell may remember this. We did watch this, and it was in reference to... We watched that Crispin Glover on Letterman where he got like banned from Letterman because he was being so weird. And we realized that like he was kind of coming in as in character. So like, you know, it's Crispin Glover and he's like being weird. And he's like, you want to see my Kung Fu? And he's got these weird pants on and those platform shoes. And he's like doing Mm -hmm. all these kick things, you know? Yeah. He was in character. Yeah. Oh, he's in character. Okay. But he did get like, he he wasn't asked back onto the Letterman show for a very long time because of how he was acting. And everyone's like, oh, he's on drugs. And then, like, you're like, oh, he was in. I feel like whenever anyone does that, when they're like their character outside of the movie, no one likes that. <laughs> Except yeah. if you're like maybe like Borat or something. But right. Remember, it hardly uh, ever works, man. It's uh, Joaquin Phoenix was that like rapper yeah. with the beard and he was mm-hmm. like showing up as a rapper to these interviews. So this um, only got one point, fifty-one percent. No, two that's points. two points, but barely. Yeah. I'm gonna give I it one will point. give it two. So that's five oh. to Giuseppe. G I U S E P P E. In case they're Giuseppe. new, spelling it. Giuseppe. Giuseppe. Uh, Giuseppe. Giuseppe. Um. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. What? What was the context of that one? Do you want to read? Or just says Chris There wasn't Glover any. Rules. It just says Chris Glover rules, which is true. <laughs> yeah, no, no, it's a good one. Uh, last uh, night, Sam and I made a list of horror movies. We each picked 15, and then uh, we, we did a 31 for October. So we each picked 15, and then Barbarian was the 31st. And, uh, you know, what we did is we just went back and forth and said movies that we think would be good to watch in October. And so it wasn't some definitive ranking of our favorite horror movies ever or anything. But yet people still treated it like that. Yeah, I heard um, it was a big fail. A lot of people said Fs because your list was garbage. No, not that didn't happen. You're just trolling me. But um, some people were Fair like, well, why'd you put House of a Thousand Corpses on top? I'm like, it's not on top. It was the first thing I said. And plus, I was thinking about movies that are good to watch, like Halloween-y kind of October movies. And anyways, so Sam suggested uh, at one point Friday the 13th Part 4 with Crispin Glover in it. And I did Crispin Glover's dance from that movie. Are you aware of that? No. He does a really weird dance. I'm not going to do it again because I'm pretty tired. But uh, yeah. Anyways, Crispin wow, Glover. What a flirt. Anyone else have <laughs> blue balls? Now they're like yeah. wondering what this dance is. Well, then just watch Crispin Glover do it on, on the trailer. Um, Cheddar Goblins resubbed for two years. Schwingles resubbed for 21 months. 
And it says, yay, 22 months. Haven't been able to hit nearly enough TB sessions this season. Keep it up, Nate. Uh, Any Hayes uh, gifted uh, gifted subs. And we got bits coming from uh, Frank Howley. Would you do the dance for a dono? Actually, betray. I'll do the dance for a dono. Or bits. Um, How many bits would it take? Whatever. I don't know. Uh, I'll do the dance. But I only do it for a little bit. I'm not doing the whole dance. You know, that's the thing is people will get very demanding about it. I know. I'll just do it so we can move on. Um, That we're not stuck in this for 15 minutes. Don't don't slut yourself out. You got to hold yourself out. I'm not slutting myself out. out. I want to watch more trailers. Okay. But, uh, all right. I'm ready. All right. Well, it's your turn, though. Yep. I have a trailer. (laughs) Oh, you are ready. Okay. Bits for Tim's dance. Dylan, Dude, that's not enough bits. bits. That's not enough bits. What Dylan. are they, like three bits? Bobby nope. did four. Okay, you guys. Okay, Creeper Girl said uh, just use a hundred. Is that enough? That's a dollar. That's a dollar. I dance yeah. for. I mean, whatever. Let's get. Uh, let's get a collective five bucks in bits, and I'll do the dance. Okay. All right. And between that then right, and now, right? let's watch my trailer. Yes, baby. Hit play. Let's do the thing. Oops, I hit enter on my keyboard, but it didn't do the thing. Oh. I've never seen hey, this. Give me a smile. Gino, are you sure we're going the right way? I've never been lost in my life. <laughs> I was surprised at this movie. Have Only you seen it? Out of this chamber, and that's down the pipe. Is this trailer going to spoil that? I mean, I know what happens, but... Breathe. Oh, okay, Sarah, yeah. oh Calm down. okay, Hedora. Coming, Thank I'm you. We did it. Okay. Really? Okay. Awesome. Thank you, Hedora. Okay, move now. Now. Ooh, that was loud. Sorry, everyone. Which way? I don't know. Whoa, Cheddar Goblin. 1,050 bits. Wow, thank you. Blue jeans, 100 bucks. Cool. I'm not thanking anybody less than that. There's a creeping girl next door, 100 bits. Is there anybody? Sexy betrayal, 100 bits. Yeah, monsters. Oh. Who knows, flowers? Who knows? The the visual element, I, it's stupid to say. I don't, I don't have the vocabulary to talk about movies like you nerds. Cinematography? Not the cinematography. Like the art direction. I so can't hear you over all this I'm sorry, guys. It's so loud on stream. I'm sorry. It's one of those trailers that gets really quiet really loud. Uh. Okay. Wait, as a trailer. But let's go back to this visual element. What do you mean? Yeah, so like the the the. When the you shots, say visual element, what are you talking about? Not necessarily like the cinematography, but like more like the art direction of a lot of stuff. You know, like the okay. shot is great. I don't but know the cinematography. It. But you're like but, I don't know the right words, but you just said it. Art direction. So you yeah, mean you yeah, like yeah. like? I said it after. <laughs> but you, yeah. you like okay? Art direction <clears> would be like you know the costumes, the background, the set, that kind of stuff. Yeah, would say would cinematography just be like camera angles and stuff? I don't, no, I don't know. no, 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 no. Like cinematography. The well, the director decides what kind of shots they want. The cinematographer okay. figures out how to get the shots. So that means lighting. That means mm. angles. Sure, it means uh, movement. You know, so is the lighting scene. and the angle is that is that cinematography? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, okay, so so they kind of so the director says what they want and they. Uh, uh, and they figure out how to make it happen. You know what I mean? So what what I really love in this movie is, and they didn't really show any of it in the trailer, but you'll have like a full scene and then like, <clears throat> you know, it's all in a cave underground. So it's not a lot yeah. of light. So what they do with the light is great where it's like, you know, they'll be coming through the top corner of the frame and you're really only seeing this top corner of the frame, like stuff go on as they come through the scene. I just, <clears throat> it was very unique and um i was just i was like man this is a cool fucking looking movie cool looking fucking movie cool fucking movie it looked cool is there um, a lot of fucking in it 
No, there's no fucking. In it. And the funny yeah. thing is, I was like surprised. I was like, this is way, way better than I was expecting. But then it never, I don't think I've seen any of the women that were in this because there's a bunch of people in it. it like, yeah. I don't think any of them became like big um, um, no, stars. This was, Again, sorry for chat for that being so loud, but like, some, this here, was this the director's. Right here, this right is here. how the director got, got big. This director got big for this. What else did they do? Neil Marshall? Um, yeah. Well, he ended up doing a lot of genre movies after this. He did a great one called Dog Soldiers, which maybe that was before this one. Dog Soldiers is great. Uh, um, Doom, was it Doomsday? Doomsday? He directed a lot of the best episodes of Game of Thrones. He did the, the Watchers on the Wall episode, the Battle at the Wall. Uh, he did the... I believe he did the episode... Off the top of your head with this information? Yeah. I believe he also did the... Uh, um, the episode in the season two of Game of Thrones, where at the end we're, we're at the green fire and they're bombing the city. I think he did that episode. He did a lot of the best ones. Um, and then he's also done. Oh man, he's done a lot of a lot of good movies. Oh, is he? Wait, hold on. The, the, the poll is up now. The poll is up now. Okay. He did twenty twenty twelve. What? I don't know. I think I just heard that joke fall uh, flat. So, uh, it's funny to me. Uh, good. Obzin 66. I thought it was a good joke. One's more than zero. Uh, okay. So, oh, he directed some episodes of Westworld. He did a bunch of episodes. Oh, yeah. He did those two episodes of Game of Thrones Blackwater and The Watchers on the Wall. How the fuck did I remember that? But he did Dog Soldiers, The Descent, Doomsday, Centurion. He directed a bunch of TV, you know, Game of Thrones, Constantine, Hannibal, uh, Westworld. And he did the most recent Hellboy with David Harbour in it. I heard that so. one wasn't good. I haven't seen it yet. I've heard it's good, but uh, so pretty it's much different. he did Descent, and it was really good, and then it just downhill from there. It didn't no, he's done a lot of stuff. I mean, Dog Soldiers yeah. is great, uh, but Doomsday is pretty good. Those two episodes of Game of Thrones, like I said, those are like the two best ones, the most action-packed, crazy ones in the show. You know how that show would always try and build up every season to something. Like sometimes it worked, sometimes it didn't. Well, those are two times where it was like awesome, and you know, he was partial to thank for that. Okay, so do I need to do my? Oh, I need to pick points for this. Yeah. I give it one. It wasn't, it didn't really wow me too much, but it's still fun. You know, I give it one as well because like the movie is great. I don't think that, I think the trailer is pretty straightforward. I feel the trailer uh-huh. was nowhere near as artistic looking as the movie. I feel right. like if the, the trailer yeah, the got font, more focus the way, on it, the, the font like of the white Zach's letters, did, you know? Yeah. Huh? I feel like if the trailer got more focus as a thing, you know, like let's mm. like this is like let's cut some parts of the movie, put it together, put a trailer out, boom. Yeah, done. it wasn't really it wasn't yeah. Like Zach there's had so a lot much of thought in the it, movie. Yes. There's so much in this movie that you could make a really good trailer. It's uh, too bad so, they didn't put the blood hook voiceover guy on that on this on the the descent. They're all gonna yeah, die yeah. from creatures. Uh, there's a lot of great actresses in the descent. <laughs> Whisper, whisper, I agree with you. The trailer is a product of its time. But, you know, we yeah, have watched a lot of trailers in this time that were really good. But this was kind of like, just yeah. get it out. So, uh, one point, you said how many? One for me. And one for chat. That's Abby Sally, three points. Three points. And um, now I have to make good. Yeah, let me say. Take the Jackson check to the betrayal. bank. Thank you for your 100 bits. Phoenix Knight 47, thank you for 300. Cheddar Goblin. Thank you again for your 1,050 bits. Thu yeah, Jeans, Jesus 100 Christ. bits. Hadora, 400 bits. Um, an anonymous cheerer, 42 bits. The murder berry fight. Uh, I'm not going to do your under okay. 100 bit people. Hey, but let me do this. There's Cooper a donor. Annie Hayes donated 20 bucks and says, you can dance if you want to. I will leave my friends behind because your friends don't dance. And if they don't dance, they're no friends of mine. So is it time for me to do the dance? Yeah. Okay. So while you were uh, talking about stuff, I silently uh, watched the scene just to refresh. So here we go. I hope he like disappears into like the green screen, like when he did his primal scream and no one could hear it. He's going to do his dance and the green screen's going to change and we won't see it. I know. I'm talking to chat. Wait, what movie? Oh, this is this is from which movie? Okay. <laughs> That's like what he does. Well, which movie? 
Uh, everyone else knows Nate. Fucking read a book. Uh, Friday the 13th, part four, the final chapter. Okay. Crispin Glover plays this, like, basically incel, and when he's trying to pick up girls, that's his dance. So, yeah. How did right. chat like that? Because I'm tired now. That needs to be a gift. That was brilliant. LOL. Thank you. Okay, there we go. All right. Can we just judge it against the real version of it? Sure, man. Okay. You want me to pull up the clip? I just had it. You got it. <laughs> Look, you can't beat that. I yeah, tried. It's tough to beat. That's tough it's to beat. Tough we to also beat, get the profile no, I mean, of it. We got your profile doing it. Yeah, but it's like, well, because I was trying to, with stuff. the green screen, yeah, I was yeah, trying to yeah. make it work better. Anyways, that music is really bad. He's doing a lot. He's doing oh, a lot. Oh, it keeps with going. His hands. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, how come you turned that off? <laughs> like his missed clap. All right. <gasps> oh, my God. Timmy, I'm going to give you two points for the dance. Thank you, chat. Let me see. Let me put the poll up. But let's remember, I have a pedigree in stupid dancing on television. So, yeah. Uh, the 80s were scary. That's true. Yeah. Hobbs and 6 6 says, I've never seen anyone dance like that in my life. <laughs> <laughs> the Char Garfunkel says, He was dancing to ACDC's Back in Black, but they. Couldn't get the rights. Interesting. <laughs> made, Interesting. So it made it look weirder. Classic Glover shit. Um, I forgot what I was going to say, but I already Thank started God. talking. So okay. I can't end my sentence. So stop. I'm just stop saying, talking. Okay. Thank you. See, you see, I just saved Nate's life and my own a little bit. Uh, three people have voted no, so fuck them. Hey, Jen Iolist, what up? All right, um, Timmy, it's your turn for a movie. I know. I'm waiting for the poll, dude. We'll see it. That's ninety percent. Yes. So I get three points. Okay. So here's the next. Four trailer. people voted no. Wow, four people, dicks. <laughs> did you stop it already? <laughs> I didn't stop it. I just did it. Hold on. Okay, there we go. Why does it do that? Can there you we go. do? Can you re-record this? But like you doing it. Now there's a dance I could do easily. In fact, after I showed my daughter this, she constantly is doing this dance now. <laughs> well, I feel you should recreate this. I have now, one of those suits, only a green one. Okay. And I don't have the pumpkin face, but that can be easily can obtained, one. I feel yeah. like. He does like a little sexy like dance yeah. there, you know, where he's well, like a four uh, minute Buffalo version. Bill. You can get a four minute version of this that, that's out there. It's because uh, they just filmed a bunch of raw footage and then picked yeah. this part to put on the newscast. But like, yeah. A little voguing. Yeah. This feels like a very like early Conan O'Brien type of thing, you know? Yeah. And it, it, it does feel like that. But this is like 2006 or nine or something like that. Before Conan O'Brien was born. Vogue. <laughs> That's like a weird karaoke version of this song, right? Or like, it doesn't sound like the main, like the Ray Parker singing. Yeah. Oh, a little walk like an Egyptian. <laughs> All right, we're good. <laughs> okay. And that whole thing is annoying, the, the whatever part is off of it. Okay. I didn't actually pick a real trailer yet. So, um. All right, we have time. Uh, <laughs> Does it show off Timmy's hog knuckle? <laughs> <laughs> Can you be that guy for Halloween? Do you have a Halloween costume picked out? I don't, and uh, I could. That would so be my daughter is gonna costume. be the my daughter is gonna be the Joker, like classic purple. Caesar Romero. No, it, uh, along those lines, you know, or just what the Joker used to look like before everybody had is that be his Dirk name? and Caesar Romero, Dirk and Graham. Yeah, you remembered an actor's Where did name, I get that Daniel. From? That's fucking nuts. I don't know, but I'm proud of you. I was, I was a big Batman, the original series. That's not called Batman. Oh, the animated series. series. Yeah. No, no, no. The, oh, the Batman 66. Series. Yeah, yeah, oh, dude, yeah. I have I that whole series on Blu-ray. I love it. I think, I, you know what? I get called crazy for this sometimes. This opinion I'm about to drop. 
Uh, I think Adam West is my he's my favorite on screen Bruce Wayne, I think. And I also think the Batman 66 show had, unfortunately, has that is still the best fight choreography we've seen in a live action Batman. And uh, the Batman gets a little close, but most Batman movies have like the action sucks. The the hand to hand fighting sucks. And in those that old show, they coordinated it. You know, there was a lot going on. If there was pulled backs, you could see the whole thing. And yes, they were doing it for jokes, but there was still like three or four separate fist fights going on at any time. And you could tell what was happening, you know, whereas Christopher Nolan, like you don't really it's like. And then somebody's falling over, you know, it's I, I would say Sam has a joke. I know he's told you the story before, but it was like somebody he knows that was, I hope I'm not telling stories out of class, but like he, um, somebody like watched like the top 100 movies and then he mm-hmm. ranked them himself and he had mm-hmm. Batman as number one. And, and like, I always thought that was so Which funny. Batman? Uh, Christopher Nolan, like dark Knight Batman. Oh. Cause I was not like, I was like, eh, all right. But like, um, some of this, I don't know. There's something I didn't like. There's parts I definitely like about it, but there's a lot more I didn't like. And so when I saw the Batman, I was so bummed out. I was embarrassed because I liked it so much. Oh, I liked it too. I thought it was cool. I was embarrassed that I liked the Batman as much as I, I, I did. What I found funny leading up to the release of the Batman was when they cast Robert Pattinson and people were like, Oh, I don't want a sparkly vampire Batman. And I, I said this on Twitter, but I just put in quotes, I don't want a sparkly Batman, quote unquote, people who haven't seen a movie since 2012. Because <laughs> Robert Pattinson, after those movies, earned his cred many times over. You know what yeah. I mean? Like he Anyone that's a not a fan actor. of Pattinson as an actor, I would say. They're just simply just, wrong. You need to watch a movie called Good Time. Yeah, dude. Good time. Um, there's a bunch, but yeah, that's probably the best way to win you over completely. That was the one that did it for me, though. Good time. Dude. I was like, fuck. Yeah, yeah dude. He, it's great. Um, oh, should I play a trailer? Good time yeah. was uncomfortable. I had to watch it in two separate settings. Yeah, dude. Good time. Uncut gems. I mean, those guys are good at that. <clears throat> oh, man. We good for the trailer? Should I start it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I also do like the Twilight movies, so... No, for, the for the campiness, for the campy weirdness. Why do we keep having pauses and shit? Like, what is happening here? It skipped to also, a minute twenty three. Yeah, uh, you know, start it over. I'm really getting upset with the internet. Did you hit play already? I'm gonna hit play, but it was skipping ahead before. Fucking weird. Here we go. <laughs> Two men on a dream vacation. What the hell are they doing? Look at Fonda. Yeah, and uh, Warren Oates. Holland Oates' ah! brother? No, Warren Oates, he normally has a mustache. He's in a ton of shit. Why? What's wrong? What are you guys up to? What? 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 We've seen this already. Across the river, a girl got stabbed. Really? They're chasing us. I well, I wasn't here. So I know, I know, but I don't. The trailer looks different. Warren Oates. <laughs> there was nowhere they could hide. Alice, look what was stuck to the back window. It's some kind of message. Witchcraft. Ooh. Witches. Yeah. Witches. There was no one they could trust. Okay, look. Witches, <laughs> shotgun cock. Well, that's a great. Did anybody hear anything? Did anybody see anything? Transition. Look at that. Trip. Have a good time. Leave this up to me. There was nothing they could do. Stuff. They followed us all the way from Bandera. That's it. here right now watching us. But run. We're here to this trailer because it seems like... Don't... I, I feel we have watched this, but I don't think we've watched this trailer. And fight. This seems like a... Like they wanted to make another Hills Have Eyes kind of film. So I wonder if this came out of yeah, yeah, yeah. the devil. It has but very big Hills Have Eyes thing. Gasoline! We gotta stay but in here! Unfortunately, no one going up. to... Peter Fonda, Warren Oates, Loretta Swift, Lara Parker. Yeah, I remember that. Race with the devil. Oh, hell yeah. Yes! When yes! When you race yes! with the devil. Yes! Yes! Yes. You'd better be faster yes. than hell. Okay. Well. Sick. Right Fucking in the last sick. few minutes, they blood hooked me right in the face. 
I uh, I don't care that we've already seen it. That was yeah, fucking dope. That, that was good. A great title. Yeah, re- yeah, really great title. Um, Race with the Devil. What year did that come out? So that came out in 1975. So I s- believe that was before. Let's see when Hill has uh, Hills Have Eyes came out. Uh, 1977. So uh, Race with the Devil actually came out first. Huh. So maybe Wes Craven, you will got some splaining to do, you know. Um, there's also Rice with the Devil. <laughs> what? <laughs> Good word. Um, I, devil. I, I liked it. I mean, it, it's possible we have seen that again, but you know, it's like, what? I, I may be in a different mindset. I think the last theme that we watched that was fast cars. Like it was like car related stuff. Mm, mm-hmm. So maybe I was like car numb at that point, but that mm. was interesting. It traveled a lot, you know, from like the beginning mm-hmm. of the trailer with like witches to like this kind of chase thing. And like, um, I'm going to give yeah. that two points. I Me enjoyed too. It. And I, cause I certainly want to see it, you know? And I mean, to me, the, the perfect cut there was someone goes, witches. It's like, to me, like the trailer could have just been that. Cause that tells you right there. Here's what the movie's about witches. And then Warren Oates, who was in the wild bunch and a bunch of cool, badass movies. Right. So people know, knew him in the seventies. as like badass motherfucker, Charles Bronson kind of guy. So just, just say witches. And then, you know, like, witches. there you go. We don't yeah. need no stinking witches. We ain't got no witches. We don't need no stinking witches. Uh, yeah. Chat gave it Six two points. points going to Rex Bosworth. Good job. What do you got, Nate? You got one? Um, what I'm do you think? Behind. I, you haven't been, I haven't been looking how? ahead. We got some really good submissions here. Nate, how um, are you? How are you doing? You all right? Yeah, okay. Okay. Shit. Okay. We're at shit. seven trailers. Number eight. That's you. Here we go. I get. I get. I, 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 <laughs> no, I'm not I, I to keep push you. getting into the thing where it's like, do I want to watch a trailer for a movie I've seen, but I may not know the trailer of, or do I want to go something totally unknown? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. Um, well, I, I, I almost did one for one that I, in fact, maybe I'll do that one next unless you do it. But uh, Allegra gonna... submitted a trailer that we're definitely not watching, Allegra. No. <laughs> Allegra works at a movie theater? How do you know? It says it in the context. Oh. She said cinema. That's because she's in London. Wow, she's changed. I, well, uh, she moved there around the same time that uh, our boy did. You know. So. Okay. Uh, man, Aaron, not the so son that you and many... I adopted together. Okay. Let me try this. I'm, I, I don't know this one. But do the one that doesn't say TOS. Oh. You read the context there? Are you talking about 52 and 53? No, I'm talking 50. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's an anthology horror, I believe. Is that the one that Jennifer Lynch is? Anyways, not to say too much. Can we watch it? Are you talking about 51 <laughs> or 50? Five zero. Okay, go for it. You want to wear the black, I know. Of course I want to wear the black. I... Jeez. What's your emergency? No, I just hit a woman with my car. I'm in the middle of nowhere. Sir, I'm sorry. Sir, you're breaking up. I said I'm in the middle of nowhere? Kim! <laughs> we still have Sam's friend was a VHS. Yeah. <laughs> Well, this next one is for all you lost souls. All you sinners racing down that long road to redemption, but heading straight into that pit of darkness up ahead. We're all on the same endless highway. Ow. <laughs> oh, close me in a flat. Guys, car! Why don't you come to our place? No, don't, don't. Don't look at that mustache, girls. What are you doing, girls? What is that girl I in the middle from? I don't know. Trailer. I'm watching the trailer. We'll figure that out later. Guys, we have got to go. I'm not going anywhere. This girl that was on the left. Twilight Zone for the Well, they're going to try to stop you. 
but you gotta keep moving. Help! I need some help! Just trying to find our way home. That's Is life, there right? Are tremors? Maybe you want tremors? Is that like yeah. southbound to like L? I think so. Southbound. You know. Okay. I believe so. Okay, so let's find that actress you were you were asking about. Let's see here. Here's the weird thing, though, and I may be a creep for this, but I don't Probably. think so. But it's like, she's cute in that as an adult woman, uh, but I, in my head, I recognize her as like a much younger person. Dana Gould was in that trailer. Hmm. Who? Dana Gould? Well, Dana Gould's in the movie. I don't know if he was in the trailer. No, no, no. Larry Fessenden. <clears throat> I don't know. Could have been one of the guys with the mask. About. Yeah. I don't know um, which uh, lady you're talking about there, because there was a bunch of names listed. I, I don't know. Why did I say something sketchy? No, I don't think so. I or no, I noticed it. her, and 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 I didn't say she was hot or anything, but like, I mean, she's pretty as an adult. But I I picture her. What was it called? South Southbound. Mm-hmm. Southbound. I picture her as like the little sister in something. She looks like the let right one girl. Let the right girl one in. <laughs> Let the <laughs> right know. one in, girl. It's hard to say. Let the right one girl in. This girl. Hold on. I'm going to switch to my IMDb scene and see if that works. And it did. This girl in the middle, her name is Fabian. Nope. Nathalie. Hannah Marks. She's one of these people. Hannah Marks. Okay. What has she been in? Dirk Gently, Dirk Gently. I should probably, instead of looking at the pictures, look at the movies. Uh, you are right over there? I didn't know there was a sequel to SLC Punk. There's a sequel to SLC Punk? Yeah. What, what is it called? Uh, SLC Punk 2. <laughs> what? Uh, is, is, is Lil did someone Snick say it in it? chat? I don't know. Um, I'm, I'm probably wrong then, I guess. Uh, 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 she was in the Runaways movie, which is one of the worst biopics I've ever seen in my life. Accepted. Is it accepted? Wow. Punk's dead. SLC Punk 2. Machine Gun Kelly is in it. Oh, that's awful. That's fucking Devin awful. Sawa is in it. He was in the first one. I right? love Devin Sawa, though. What happened to him? Did he die? You know what? SLC oh, my God. Here it is. seems to be an afterthought. No, Devin Sawa is still, uh, he's, he's still around. He's on Twitter. He says a lot of funny things about parenting. What's going on? Here it is. That's uh, Justin Long in the movie Accepted, and his little sister was the girl in that movie. There you go. So that's where you picked it up. All right. I don't know. So I think I may have watched this recently. Um, oh, okay. I go on like weird, like thematic, you know, I watched um, Barbarian. So I went on like a, a little Justin Long binge. Mm. And I have seen Dirk Gently of her movies. I think I've seen Dirk Gently. I saw, I used to go here. Dude knows his minors. I know it was such a bad, I don't know. Let's watch a trailer and we'll ignore your comments. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, um, what do you give that one? <laughs> oh, we didn't do that yet. Uh, I no. give that one one. It was good. Uh, I as I don't know anything about it. Haven't seen it, but it looks scary, and I'm interested in watching. It. I would give it two. I don't remember what chat gave it. 
Did I watch Strange Wilderness? Yes, I, I love Strange. They gave it was she in Strange two. Wilderness? Is that is one of my favorite it? movies that did no one's ever seen? Um, chat, what did you give it? Justin Long was in Strange Wilderness. Fuck yeah, Strange Stop Wilderness. Stop talking about Justin Long. Let's find out how many points we gave this to from chat. Thank you, Principal Rolls, for doing what Nate was supposed to do. Okay, so <laughs> <laughs> how was I gonna do it before he said it? You oh, dildo, honky. You're so you mean. Were talking about Justin you're so Long mean. And, and then when Zach was on the show, you were so nice. And then as soon as he left, you were so mean again. That's not true at all. I'm only being mean to you because you go on these tangents. You basically, it's like, Nate, you want to put down the shovel for a moment and let's find out how many points this movie gets. <laughs> for the record, let chat know that like Timmy is calling me out for going on tangents. Yeah. But your tangent was too long. That's what I'm talking about. I don't care about going on tangents, but like, I don't know. It's like, okay, Justin Long, let's watch the trailer, you know? Okay. Anyways. Um... All I'm doing is making fun of you for not seeing the points. So that was and two from chat, two from me, one from you. That's five yeah, points. Five. I just gave it going five. Going to Dark Bastard. It was Dark Bastard? I thought it yeah. was. Oh, you know what? I did the wrong thing because I was looking at the one I'm going to do. Oops. So, okay. Go ahead. You got that one in there? And Nate, I don't really care about your chances. I'm just finding a point. Wow, you, Timmy. Everybody was Way to, was way to feel guilty shit. and roll it back. Nobody else is giving me shit except you. It's called being a fucking real person and considering things and like, you know, talking about them. So there you go. All right. So. (laughs) A tangent about tangents. I'm going to, I don't know who that person is. So I'm going to get my time out. (laughs) Bye. Whoa. Timmy's mean tonight. Got timed out. Well, hey, you uh, wanted me to fucking prove it. There we go. All right, you guys ready for the next trailer? You ready? Yeah. Okay. Well, this is a short one. Everybody be cool. You be cool. Somewhere in the middle of nowhere. Low profile. You understand the meaning of the words low profile? (laughs) Sure. Of America's most dangerous criminals have taken hostages. What is this? It's called a punch. I want to ask you one question, and all I want is a yes or no answer. Do you want to live through this? Yes. Okay, ramblers, let's get rambling. One night is all that stands between them and freedom. This is my kind of place. But it's going to be... You saw my hair, best movie. One hell of a is night. Is it our best movie? Uh, I don't know, Desperado's pretty good. Is it Desperado? Be there are a bunch of fucking vampires the out there trying to get in here and suck our fucking blood. Now, their Hello. only chance is to fight Oh, yes! Tell George Clooney, Quentin Tarantino, Juliet Lewis. Welcome to slavery. No thanks. I already had a wife. From dusk till dawn. Clooney, take it. Bet you that has some direct-to-video sequels. It has a bunch. Uh, one's called Texas Blood Money. I don't know what the other ones are called. Um, I just because I well, I almost watched one one uh, the other night and I was like oh, I'll watch something else. I feel um, like I wanted to watch one in our horror sequels, but it yeah. was submitted by somebody that we had already watched. No, oh, probably. Um, how funny is it? What a weird. There's a there's an interesting time capsule in that trailer. Hold Harvey Keitel gets credited before George Clooney because George Clooney wasn't really a big deal quite yet. He was still doing um, the he was on ER. Uh, ER, yeah. And so I he actually wasn't like a big movie star. So the, the, it's Harvey Keitel, who's not, who's like, I guess he's, I mean, you know, he's still one of the main stars of the movie. But like, it's funny because his character is not as big as George Clooney's character. But you know, the actor at the time was more important, apparently. So um, weird. I recently got this. Um, what is it called? It's called like. It's it's a it's a documentary about the filming of this movie, um, and it's very weird. 
yeah. because uh, Robert Rodriguez is just kind of like walking around. Like in a lot of times, he's just being pushed around in a wheelchair, playing a guitar, and his. Um, who was his, sorry? I missed who you said. Robert Rodriguez, pushed- the director. Okay. He's just kind of playing uh-huh. a guitar, and they're doing all these like side interviews with like the PAs and stuff and all the different apartments. And everyone looks really stressed out. And uh, like the director of uh, the cinematographer is like pretty much doing all the stuff. It was pretty funny. Like he's like stressed out telling everyone what to do. And Robert Rodriguez just kind of walks by and he asks him a question. He's like, yeah, sure, man. And just walks away playing the guitar. It's pretty funny. <laughs> um, but also they, they built that set, the facade out in like the desert on somebody's property. Uh-huh. And then they film the scene of like the end of where it's like exploding and all this shit. And they had more to do, but it caught on fire. It wasn't supposed to oh, wow. like catch on fire. So they had to put it out and had to rebuild a bunch of it. So it was kind of funny. Full tilt boogie. Yeah. Thanks to full tilt boogie. It's on. Oh, that's uh, about Plex. the making of dust till dawn. Okay. Yeah. It's, I've uh, seen the name of that movie before. I didn't know that's what it was. It's weird. Um, Cause everyone's kind of like, it's like the, the nineties. Everyone's like, banging each other you know like they yeah. go to like a bar at the end of every shift and just kind of hook up um yeah so that trailer is pretty good i don't know chat gave it two um i think i'll give it one i'll I give do it one like it. all right so four points to from deuce till dawn to ryan scott adkins hey ryan scott adkins i haven't seen there a submission is a from submission them in a while. here I, there's a submission here i want to um talk shit on for a second uh, someone submitted a movie about uh, hot men on a road trip uh, that I've never seen, but I know I would really like. I've seen scenes from it and thought it was good uh, and said, I think I found Timmy's favorite road trip movie. And I feel like that's just some real lame, you know, like, ha, 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 Timmy likes dudes joke. And I just hate that shit. Cause it's like, you guys, like, first of all, you mean that? So you're meaning, that, you know, you're indicating that that might be some sort of detriment, but who cares if I fucking like dudes? It's like the future. Not, it's not the future. Everything's terrible, but we should be accepting, you know, all that stuff. And to, to still be using that as some sort of like <laughs> thing is just so fucking lame to me. I just, it's just so lame. So why don't you pick that trailer? <laughs> This me? isn't sassy, Timmy. It, guy Cunido said sassy, Timmy. I won't call that sassy, Timmy. That's me uh, picking someone who fucked up and saying this is why they fucked up. So anyways. So you're not going to play their trailer? Well, no. Maybe. I don't think we should. Okay. Because I think that's lame, man. I think that's fucking lame. And look, I don't care when people make fun of me. I mean, why does kids have been making fun of each other for 20 years and we were good at making fun of each other? But if you're going to fucking make fun of me, fucking try. You know what I mean? Like, go to the writer's room for just 30 seconds. You know what I mean? Don't just be <laughs> gay people. You know, like, oh, my God. You know, it's fucking 2022. Like, dude, fucking listen. I've heard like uh, Trevor and Zach and Sam and Darren are all very good at making fun of me. And we all made fun of each other a lot. Right. And so if you are going to put it on yourself that uh, you, uh, a person out there under a fake name who I don't even know. Which number are you talking about? Hold on. Somehow deserves the same, uh, somehow is at the same level as four of my very best friends and think you can make fun of me the way they do. Go for it. But you got to bring your fucking A game because I've heard everything. And whenever I get, (laughs) whenever I get like uh, pissed off about people making fun of me, it's not actually because I'm offended about people making fun of me. It's because I'm disappointed in them for not fucking trying, you know? And so that's like, to me is a really good example of that it, it'd be like the same thing. If someone's like, uh, had a trailer about a hot dog road trip was like, I think it's Tiffy's favorite movie. You know, it's like, eh. that would at least be a little more clever, I suppose, than a gay joke. But <laughs> you know, uh, anyways, if you're going to come at me, fucking bring your big guns, you know, I just don't want to pick the movie accidentally. Then Low what number was it? it? It'd be funny. What number was it? Would it would be really funny. Uh, it was uh, 75, and I don't want to make that person feel ru- – well, no, I'd do it. It's fine. Um, Lobaka nailed it, said in quotes, I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> well, Beetle Hermit now has a good question. Are there any good hot dog movies? Uh, there's that really great hot dog sketch from I Think You Should Leave, but um, and we might have had one too, but uh, – <laughs> I don't know about a whole movie. There's a movie called Hot Dog, the movie. That's about skiing. 
And that's about skiing. Oh, a uh, guy just brought that up. Sausage Fest. Mm -hmm. Is it my turn or your turn? I have no fucking clue. I did Dust Till Dawn. Okay, okay. Yeah, and, that's my let's turn get then. back on Dust Till Dawn for just a second. Um, sure. Somebody pointed out, like, Selma Hayek in that movie was very important to me as a 12 year old. I mean, look, For we're real. not just a bunch of hornballs. Icon. We appreciate people. Icon. Uh, you did the wrong one. You did one right under that one. No, I'm choosing that one. I'm oh. marking that for me to choose later. Oh, okay. Sorry. Anyways, yeah. So, her, you know, sometimes the thing is, is like, it takes talent to be as sexy as she is. in that movie. You know what I mean? Like, I don't think it's demeaning in her to her in any way to be like Selma Hayek is fucking stacked and amazing in that dance scene in that movie. You know what I mean? It's like back to talent. Yeah. But also stacked for measurements and that's fine. She's using her body very well. You know, she uses her uh, natural gifts very well. And it's like an incredibly sexy, awesome scene in that movie. And yeah, I think a lot of people who uh, like ladies probably got their, their little boat floated by that. You know what I mean? So I do know what you mean. Yeah. So <laughs> I know what you mean. <laughs> yes. And then uh, Desperado was one of the, I don't know. That's a there's some sexy stuff in that too, and she's cool in it. You know, she's cool. Anyways, what the fuck are we talking about? Oh, you're I don't know. Out I'm trailer. here for it. Oh, I'm okay. Done. I'm ready. Are you ready? I got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am a big fan of Salma Hayek. Yeah, she's cool. I think she's cool. Trevor uh, met her once. Uh, behind, you know, he would when he worked at SNL. He would randomly meet celebrities. He's like, he's like, she's very short. It's just like, is that, like he's like, it's just, uh, she's just like. Uh, He's like, the way you meet her in person, it's like, whoa, you know, like she's just uh, a bombshell, I guess you could say, you know. Holds up. Yeah, for sure. All right. I'm ready. I'm done being horny. <laughs> no, you're not. That's my, that's my secret cap. <laughs> 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 oh my wait 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 did you have to start this trailer over because he liked that joke too much <laughs> are you dying are you okay <laughs> uh, no it's funny it is funny <laughs> I mean, is wound it's never not it's not it wasn't that funny it's funny if you Nymix, know what the uh, line is wait nine mix hasn't received a nine mix have we watched any of their trailers yet i'm lightheaded that was funny um <laughs> nine mix just said it wasn't that funny and i don't think we've watched any of their trailers yet so but now we will good to know nine mix uh. good to know <laughs> Oh man! I made a that I made a that's my me. secret cap <laughs> meme once, and I think it was too weird for people to get. But it was basically like a, a cap tell talking to you know Bruce and going, uh, "Hey, now that you're a dad, you can listen to uh, something about like oh, uh, <laughs> now that you're a dad, you can listen to like lame dad music like ska bands all the time." And then it's just like Bruce turning and like that's my. <laughs> Because you know, but I, I I'll have to re I'll pick up the meme sometime. I think I have it in here, and I'll I'll just read it because it's like it's, did I delete them all? No, here it the is. The horny oh, one's better. Like, the horny <laughs> one is way better. It was simple, and I didn't have to explain it, so it was yeah. better. <laughs> okay. Anyways, please continue. I'm ready. <laughs> I'm sorry. My meme folder. <laughs> no, not my meme folder. It's one I made. It's in my pictures somewhere. One day you're gonna grow up, you'll meet a wonderful guy, and you're gonna get married. But you and I will always be best friends. Don't fucking push heteronormativity on your daughter. Dad, bitch. could you be any more of a dork? What happened to that little girl who used to go, Daddy's home? Guess. God, what? Nothing. Oh. We watch TV in four separate rooms, and we IM each other when dinner's ready. Well, then let's change things. Mom, some idiot just parked this ugly RV outside our house. Oh my God, it's your husband. There's an elegant touch. You know what you say when you take an RV trip? RV camps. You folks want to join us for breakfast? We'd love to. Oh! Oh! 
Just Daniels. Yeah, he's great. Somebody's right. Try to remember, we're not friendly. I've got a never-ending love. Whenever a big white man picks up a banjo, my cheeks tighten. Good news. I'm adopted. Good one. You just <laughs> have a bad time, aren't you? Not me. I embrace every challenge. This is the worst I've ever been treated. Where do you get married? Thank you. like about us we're not even that appealing we have to hang together stay strong is it the Ramones? yeah who is that maniac? what? you have no idea what you're doing damn straight the toilet's backed up the sewage tank is overflowing we are gonna get this fixed up for you it's gonna be a regular field of dreams moment for us buddy <laughs> oh, dude, that is nasty. The poop gag in that is is good. In in the movie? Yeah, the yeah, one yeah that's show. a good scene. That's a good scene. Very memorable. That that whole uh, emptying the toilet part. Uh, okay. Uh, mm -hmm. I think one issue I had with that trailer is that they have multiple instances of the same joke where it's like, "Who's that fucking idiot?" Oh, it's Dad. It's like, okay, you know. They did it like two or three times, you know. Do you take offense to that because you're a dad now? No, no, no. I just think it's lame to do that. You know, it's like put some other jokes in your trailer. I just think it's, you know, it, it makes it less uh, appealing when it's like repeating j the same kind of joke over and over. You know. I, just, I like the part where he's like, hey, we have good news. It's like, what, I'm adopted? Yeah, that was that was a funny joke. The, the yeah, the, the septic clean out. Um, Scene in that is is pretty good. <laughs> Blue skies says, says we had a TV in our car and that was the only DVD we, DVD we had. I've seen it a hundred times. <laughs> oh man, that's awesome. So that's um, similar to why I watched that Gigi Allen movie so many times. It's the only tape available when we were recording our album. And uh, was that the little kid you're... from um, the movie of the the Katniss? What the fuck are you talking about? Are you, uh, Hunger Games. Hunger, Hunger Games. Games. That the kid I've, from Hunger I've Games? seen like one of those. I saw what like part three or four or something. I don't know. I read the first book once and I was like, yep, this is not for me. It's that like you has this... given that a single point. Yeah. I, I, I didn't really dig it. I would give it. Yeah, I don't, know. I'm, I don't really hand out any zeros. Do you ever hand out zeros? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I feel like giving that one a zero. It didn't make me want to watch it. I'm going to give All it a right. one. All right. Give it a zero. <clears throat> All right. M12 Sarge, you're getting to two points, guy. Better than nothing. All right, Timmy. Okay. So. Jane Isla says, I saw battle royale and i never cared about the hunger games you could like both yeah. well no but but the hunger games especially in the book it, like wasted its premise <laughs> i just always laugh when i watch this video <laughs> you know what i think i needed a recharge so that's why i played this again but also i was trying to kind of do what you know how, what sam used to do with that fucking skate skate fail sketch we have like he would skate play was great all the time See, he does like that part where he does like a little. This is very Buffalo Bill, like Sounds yes, of the Lambs, right yes, here. Definitely. You know, he's like. Well, and if you watch, the, there's a longer version where the it's all the raw footage that they edited okay. from. And where can I does, get that? He, he he does some of these. It's on. It's probably right here. Let me see. Who are you gonna call? Here, we'll put it in. Here it is. Raw footage. Is it an hour long? Can we watch after the No, it's next four hour? minutes. But somebody did make an hour long version of this. No, ten hours. Okay, here's the raw footage, but it like has this stupid fucking bullcrap. Vintage dancing pumpkin. Yeah, there we go. Oh, see, it's like their edit bay footage. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> 
No one ever thought about what he was gonna do or just went with it. I think so, cause it's like some, he was like some stand-up comic that also worked on this fucking nightly news, local news thing. It is such a funny dance. They did great. I wonder how many of our younger viewers are like, look at these two old farts watching a fucking ten-year-old me over and over and over again. There's something strange. He does a sexy one after this. No, there's a some point where he like does the thing. There's something weird. Like, it don't look good. I think you're gonna call. This should be the next one. Right now. Is it not one? They should have made it one already. I think. And nothing is a new ghost named Jans. I am a new ghost. That was good. It's so long. I what do you think this? Trailers, do you like this like, dance or so the Kristen Glover? This dance or the Kristen Glover dance? Oh, don't it's a real dancey <laughs> episode. He's like, I'm choose. tired. Don't make me choose. <laughs> Wait, did it pause uh, for you too? No, I just paused it. Oh, oh there's so many other... Watching it. <laughs> okay. What? Um, is it your turn to pick a trailer? Yes, and I got one. And we're gonna watch it. Wait, what was the last trailer? Oh, it was RV. RV. That was you. Okay. All right. These red ones I've highlighted, you can choose too. I just wanted to pick them up. What? 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 This place is temporary visual effects. Have you ever sound. seen anything like that in your life? Just your average college girl. Why don't you go over there and talk to her? Talk to her. What's that guy's name? Tyler uh, Bean? Going yeah. camping? I like that. <laughs> Did you see the way those guys looked? We are in Hillbilly Country now, boys. I don't know that guy's name. Oh my god. I cannot believe that I am standing in my own vacation home. Do you guys want to hear a scary story? Shut up. No, man. This story happened right in these very woods. It was 20 years ago today. Who wants to go skinny dipping? I do. <laughs> What is that all about? Fucker! Shush! Ah! Damn it, Theo! What the hell is the matter with you? We got your friend! They got Allison! Oh. Hey! Where the hell are they going? Better come look at this. It's just a cabin. It doesn't mean they're psycho killers. Then why don't you go in there and talk to them? Maybe I will. I said maybe. So your friend out there, he must be allergic to bees or something because he was running like a bat out of hell. Run! Run for your life! <laughs> <laughs> they killed him, man. They left his body. Awesome. He was a message. He's making her dig her own I grave. It's not this work for a pretty girl I like you. I you haven't seen this? this. You can help no, out or get out. So funny. It's us against them. Trevor had the script for these where the hell did you come from? <laughs> it's a goddamn suicide pack. These kids are coming out here and they're killing themselves <laughs> all over the woods. Oh my god, that makes so much sense. It's all the guys! They're killing themselves place. all it's over the woods. It's a good idea. They were just doing some chores around the house when kids started killing themselves all over my property. Well, that's what Pamela happened, Tucker! Pamela, say something that makes me want to hurt people. <laughs> He's gonna walk it off. How's he wow. even walking right now? What the hell is wrong with you kids? What is the matter with us? I've never stood so close to pure evil before. I got 10 to 12 beers. They're all nice right now, man. They're yours. Uh, guys? Maybe we should help him. You've gone hillbilly on me, Allison. You're crazy. Time to die, freak. Wow, well, there's the, uh, well, It's an free. odd trailer. Yeah, it was. It was like, I don't know if it was not, it was like a, test trailer or something. Pamwell said, hold on, Timmy and Sam mentioned this movie last night. It's disqualified. Is Pamwell the one that submitted in Xeno Man last week? I think so, right? I don't know. I think so. Uh, first of all, Sam and I mentioned it on a different show and not in the context of the trailers or anything. So I think it's fine. Um, but yeah, that trailer was weird. It's a great movie. Um, yeah, really the guys who play Tucker and Dale, Tyler Labine, and the guy from Alan Firefly, Tudyk. Alan Tudyk, Alan Tudyk. Yeah. he's great. They're amazing in it. Yeah, he's. 
Yeah, that's what I've like always like I've had it on different watch lists on streaming services for years and just never get around to watching it, you know. It's fun. So it's I, different. It. Um it's only 89 minutes. The that's trailer was not great. I, I as well, a trailer, not a trailer, I feel it was it gave, it gave too much away. You know, yeah. you gave away a lot. Yeah, you you really get to see like the end. Which you know, sucks. and who like the bad guy is in the end. Yeah, no, no, it's true. I agree with you. Yeah, I'm gonna give it so. zero fucking points. I'll give it one because uh I just give the other one zero. I don't want to develop a reputation. As what being sassy? Listen, well, I already have that reputation, which I know it was a, a joke. I like your joke. Uh what uh no i don't want to be someone who's mean to trailers trailers are the only thing i feel like i'm consistently nice to you know so unless um chat (laughs) gave that one point i'll give it one you give it zero so that's two uh i believe that goes to where the fuck did it go oh my god i'm sorry mythic mythic <laughs> two points for mythic who mythic uh i will get around to playing doom again uh hopefully this week i really want to start streaming again during the week uh i just keep having stuff going on but um mythic is uh, one of two people the other one is resident Stevel. and when i play a doom game Resident Evil and Mythic are the only reasons I don't pull out my hair and stab myself in the face during those streams. Because the Doom games get pretty fucking... Uh, the maps get t- difficult, especially if you're talking and streaming while you're playing. And so those two guys always know where everything is. And so sometimes I say, don't help me yet. I want to figure it out. But sometimes I'll be like, oh my god, guys, help. You know? And so, shout out. So... So, Panwell, if someone submits Doom next week, is that going to be out of uh, out of it's, it's out of the running too? Wow, oh, Panwell's getting the sass. <laughs> hey, you know, look at his fucking think, title. I think they were sassing because of Encino Man uh, <clears throat> upsetness. What title? Where? What are we looking at? Nothing. Um. Anyway, what title? What are you talking about? Um, Mythic. What Timmy's saying is he doesn't like you. I think you're great. Don't listen to Nate. I don't even know why we let Nate on this show. As he says, it's my show. So, sure. you know. Uh, right. Oh, yeah. I don't know how to do um any of this. This is the best produced show everyone always tells it you is, that. Because it's not us doing it. <laughs> <laughs> you ever seen this movie? Yeah. I know. I haven't. Something new. A way to change his life. Oh, you changed the title. You changed the title. That's hey, what you're talking you about. Go? Bastard, what'd you, you put? Somewhere to stay? No, thanks. You afraid of something new? I kind of looks like Justin Long. Hold on. Around here at the moment. Oh, my God. Hey, you want to go? You need somewhere to stay? No, thanks. You afraid of something new? <laughs> it's not at all. That's, that's a guy from Thailand. Here at the moment. It's about a beach. A secret beach. On an island that no one can get to. What so, happened to that girl? Paradise she was very pretty. Exist. I just feel like everyone tries to do something. The one different, checker edge. They always wind up doing the same damn please, thing. Please, please. One kilometer. Two. Richard. I don't know. I'm thinking miles, not kilometers. I'm American. So. so I hear go. the book is much better, Surreal JC. Yeah, I just saw that. I actually like the movie a lot. <laughs> huh. On a hidden island. Here to inspire. At the edge of the world. We get into oh, I just remembered who else is in this. <laughs> they found all they ever wanted. Yeah! A paradise few Doesn't it get dark and weird or something? I don't suppose that there's any reason that you should spend time with me. What are you talking about? Just making conversation. Is that the lady you're talking about, Nate? That's yeah. what you're asking about? One. Just making a conversation. A is that Wonder Woman? Would you like to come to the beach? No. Me? They had never Wait, known. what if it is? I don't think it is. And a secret. Oh. No one ever escaped. Oh my god, butt rock. I saw them kill Get your butt rock, uh, put your butt rock over my chest and hair. Go home, forget this island. 
This is our home too. Oh, well, we're not going back. May God take your soul. I will not die today! I never lead us. What else has uh, that main that main guy? Leonardo DiCaprio. He's been in yeah, a couple what, movies. What else has he done? <laughs> <laughs> he did that werewolf on Wall Street movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he did. You know, there wasn't. You know what? He was um, uh, werewolf on Wall Arnie. Street. The transformation in that the stuff in that movie was, I don't know, it was pretty subtle. I didn't really catch it. <laughs> it was subtle. He was Gilbert Grape, the werewolf of Gilbert Grape. The werewolf of Gilbert Grape in Hollywood. Um, yeah. Once upon a time, Gilbert Grape in Hollywood. Um, <laughs> where's Arnie? Um, um, where's Arnie? So what do you think of the beach? Have you seen it? No, I haven't seen it. There's um, a lot of movies I haven't seen tonight. It's weird. It's an interesting one. I do like the, it has good music, you know, uh, pretty much it's, you know, he, he, he's in that time, which is not specific to that time period, but you know, he's like looking to do something with his, you know, he's just looking for some kind of adventure, get out there. And he Mm -hmm. goes to Thailand and it's very, I think he's in Phuket and it's just very commercial and and touristy and, and basic. And he wants something more. And he hears of like a secret beach from, um, the guy, I forget what his name is, but, uh, so he meets these French kids and they, you know, have the secret map and they go find this field and the field's filled with weed. And like, they're mm-hmm. like, this is amazing. Then they meet this like secret commune and they're like, we have these rules. And, uh, Tilda Swinton, who's not even in the trailer is like the, the king of the compound. I think it's Tilda Swinton. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, you know, like there's rules on, on the island too, you know? So it's kind of like you have a job to do and all this stuff. And he's like, oh, that sucks. And then, One point from you know, there's like a big paradise lost element to it. Um, but I, I thought it was a good movie. I hear the book is very good though. So um, I, <clears throat> I like the trailer, but I feel it was missing some elements that like I were in the movie that I think could have made a better trailer. So I'm going to give it one point. Yeah, I thought it was all right. I'm going to give it one. Um, so uh, that actress's name is Virginie Ledoyen. Uh, she's actually older than us. So no, no problem there. Okay. <laughs> she was 24 when she shot that movie. So Okay. That's from Virginie Hi Guys, Ledoyen. It's Aaron. Has she been in anything that we'd recognize since then? I don't know. Let's see here. Uh, she's in a movie called MILF. Sounds promising. Uh, no. Uh, the Beach, There, another one called Eight Women, which I think I've heard of that movie, but a lot of these I've not heard about before. And There's no problem in recognizing in the Tale. other girl. What girl? There was no problem in recognizing the other actress. Right. You no, know, recognizing this actress is fine. Yeah. There was nothing oh. wrong with the other one either. Oh, I recognized okay. her from a movie and she was a little yeah, yeah, kid in that movie. Matter. I don't. Uh, so but there's a funny joke we have to point out from chat. Uh, we said that she's 24 and Deja Antandu says, so Leo hasn't talked to her since they shot the movie. <laughs> yes. Yeah. You know, that's a good shooting from the hip. Is eight women also a porn? No. I, I feel like I, I I acknowledged a good joke, mm-hmm. and then I acknowledged a joke that was not good, and I apologize, everybody. Um, <laughs> I still love it, that you said GP when we watched Catalina. Okay, fuck is you. this GP? I was well, like, I GP, think I yep. said that because was I worried about TOS or something? I don't know, but it's just fun calling it GP now. GP, <laughs> yo, dog, I got that GP. <laughs> you got that GP? Um, what the hell? Oh yeah, I wanted to watch this. Um, okay. I've, when I was looking at this list earlier today, I'm like, oh, I want to make sure to hit that one. I forgot until now. So, you ready? Yeah, Pen. Well, GP means gay porn. Timmy's oh, we're got watching it. a movie. You ready? Yeah. This one's only a minute. They are armed oh. and considered extremely oh, dangerous. No. That is very bad sound. We gotta be the a person who submitted this, we have a very good mutual. Andrew Dice Clay? Uh, probably not. Your dad? No. 
I'm not going I, uh, I know, so I sort of know the person's students. I know they watch a lot of crap on Amazon, so... They know what's up. It's loud, sorry. It's not loud, you guys. It's intense. Wine Creek. All right. There's no, like, last minute name drop. No, it's just... I did not understand. Yeah. I just need to watch it from the start again, because I just... I don't follow... I don't follow it. Okay, right. bank robbers on the run from the law. Got it. Dangerous. Okay. Broke, I broke down, down. A strand of miles from anywhere. Okay. okay. We gotta be a million miles from anywhere. They think they're a million miles from anywhere. And what now? I like how she came around the car twice there. Yeah, what the fuck is wrong with these guys? I don't like the way he touched her arm. Okay, so already I'm like, where are we now? Like right, okay, now there's but, a guy in the woods with a gun. Yeah, so they're well it's because they're stuck out in the middle of nowhere. Well, now they're right. in a house. Now they're... So, well, clearly something else is going to happen. But, like, this is where I get confused. They show this vampire ship, but they don't reference it at all. She's with the police or something? And who's that girl just smiling and nodding? some interesting context to this one i believe too okay. uh, uh robbers okay oh no it was just <coughs> oh no that, that was something else i was thinking of this is robbers breaking into a family's cabin not knowing there's a big dumb vampire living there this 2021 hit will have you wondering if the director suffered a traumatic brain injury <laughs> <laughs> so that makes me want to watch it more like yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> like no, again you I and Listen, I, I like I like I said, I, I sort of know this person. I'm very good friends with their roommates, and uh, I've talked to her a few times too. And they uh, only watch like crazy garbage, and so you guys would get along. You know, it's uh. <laughs> here's the funny those... thing. I'm... Go ahead. No, I was saying here's the funny thing. I'm realizing about all this these garbage trailers that I love. Uh -huh. We've been doing watch parties. <clears throat> if you're a fan of the show, and you may want to watch some of these. Uh, follow me, Nate Blackest, and I will. I've randomly done a couple watch parties over the last. I think I've hit you up, seeing if you're available. Yeah, and, and I these say movies no, I like no. are not great in in, fe really? in feature length. Yeah, <laughs> who knew? Who knew? Um, I Animal watched. Says, Please, Nate, I don't want to watch that. <laughs> um, we watched Black Roses, and it was not good. That, you know, we've it's watched a couple good. of these. I've been meaning to watch it. It's, <laughs> it's not, not good. good. I, I, yeah, it's, see, that was when I silly. really felt like it'd be good, man. The trailer was so good. Um, it's, I mean, actually, you know what? It's silly. I'm, I I don't regret watching it or anything, but it's like, I don't know. I think watching these bad movies is funnier when you watch them with people. Right. And I'm with chat, but it's just me talking with chat. So, oh, garbage hey, uh, kids. It's been pointed out this is a 2001 movie, I think. Not 2021. Um, I give that trailer two points because <laughs> it's like uh, I don't know. I, I, I you know I, I forgot to put the fucking so the, I forgot to put the poll up because I was so into it. Um, I mean, two points I, right. for me. <clears throat> At first pass, I was like waiting for I was expecting things to happen, right? And I thought it would be very basic. But that's like the great thing about like shitty movies is like there's no bottom to what kind yeah, of bullshit not, can happen. Like, they, it, so it, did, it barely does like the the like it didn't even hit all these cliches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so it 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 was Which so shit great. that I I liked it more. So I'm also going to give it two points because okay. I I thought it was total shit. Yeah. Um, you know what we we only have one seven tonight. Isn't that weird? No. No, we normally by this point have like three or four of them. Yeah, but like because like the first one was so good, everything yeah. else pales in comparison. You're right. We all burned <laughs> out our uh, fucking uh, whatchamacallit. 
Um, Ryan Scott Atkinson made me physically sick after the second playthrough. I that's why I really liked it. You know, I feel like we should watch it one more time just like because, like, made a person vomit. Well, like, you know, it's only been a long and for context, no, well, you know. Again. No, we're we're good, man. Uh, wow, the uh, chat is not on board. No, oh, fuck 70, that. 70% no. That's still so, a point, uh, though. That's one point. Okay. No. One well, plus four is five. Who gets it? Boner honk farts. Hey. Yeah. BHF, what up? <laughs> Do you know Boner? No. I mean, yeah, I I I I, I know the name. I've seen Boner so Honk Farts in chat. Boner, I just I always love that name. <laughs> yeah, it's a great name. And Boner's Boner's great. Very funny. And so she and uh another good friend of hers were uh regular viewers on my old twitch channel six seven eight years ago when i would just stream <laughs> by myself and boner sent me a cardboard nick cage mask once that i still have so and Why? i have pictures of my daughter wearing it and it's very funny when she was very young oh she i actually cage. i made that the thumbnail for that episode when she was wearing it for your oh yeah she came on the cooking <laughs> show she came on zucchini boys wearing the nick cage mask yeah. Okay. Anyways, Boner's a real one. <laughs> but anyways, I mean, Boner Hawk Farts is one of the best screen names I've ever seen, and there's not. I, I since then I haven't seen a bunch that have competed. You know. Can you say Every that thing you really just said before, one. but like look down. Boner's a real one. <laughs> All right. Pick a trailer, you fucking commie. Uh -huh. <laughs> Boner is a real one. Dave's been itching for it. Woody can't stand oh, no. it. If I can wait, why can't you wait? And Spider will do anything for it. Spider! Stop him! There comes a time when nothing seems more important than losing it. Is that Jackie Earl Haley? Kelly oh. Leak? Okay. You don't go with the first one you see. You wait. It is. Look how short he is. I got more of them hormones or something. Hello. How was I supposed to know that she was your sister? I thought it was a Tom Cruise movie, but it's just Jack Hero on the other side. What? Oh, you shut up now! I'll be right back. I can hardly wait. Some of them beers you had in Big Dave. <laughs> what did he say? Hold on. I gotta turn it up. Get those maniacs! <laughs> Where did the, the child come word. from? About it's one of their friends. Losing it. Did he say shit? Show me those boobs you've got for Big Dave. I don't right know, man. I can hardly wait. Show me those boobs you've had for Big Dave. Yes. <clears throat> Show me those boobs you've been hiding from Big Dave. Yes, that's probably Let's it. Say. Fucking whatever, man. Um, I don't know. I mean, I just feel like. It's a pretty standard trailer for a movie like that, you know. That's that had it was no. Interesting. It was kind of interesting. It's weird that Jackie <laughs> Earl Haley is in it. I like Jackie Earl Haley. I think he's yeah. uh, amazing. I mean, he's greatest Kelly Leak, and then like that's the last thing I knew that he did up until uh, the movie Little Children, which is an amazing movie. Um, he's fucking crazy in that, and then I think that's kind of like where he picked up again and then mm -hmm. going back seeing him in all these movies like oh he's been acting the whole time it, like mm -hmm. you know you just kind of assume people stop acting when you don't see the movies they're in yeah he was great in Watchmen Nate why did you bring little children again <laughs> uh, if you guys haven't seen it it's a good movie it's um, is it an Andre Debuse or a it's it's also um, let me see let me see uh, uh, I think it's it's a Massachusetts guy. Is it? yeah, Tom Parada. That's who it is. I've met him. Tom Parada, guys. Okay, that got a seventy-eight percent no. 
Yeah, that I give it a, I'll give it one. Zero points. I'm going to give it... Wait, 70% no means zero points? 78%. Oh, 78%. It, it, it was 22% yes. Curtis Jesus. Hansen directed that. I don't know who that is. He Do directed you know LA is? Confidential and 8 Mile. Hmm. He's like kind of a big... He became a big deal director, you know? Well, Todd Field directed Little Children, and you may recognize Todd Field's name because he was Nick Nightingale in... <clears throat> um, how do I movie. remember this guy's fucking name and character name, but I don't remember the movie he was in? Uh, Eyes Wide Shut. Yes, there you go. Okay. Oh, sure. Fidelio. Fidelio. Yeah, Todd Fidelio. Field. Um, yeah. And he did In the Bedroom. That's why. All right. So he also did In the Bedroom. And In the Bedroom was an Andre Debus, um story. And he's also from Massachusetts. I only know Massachusetts related things like that. Anyway. What um, just happened? Okay. So. <laughs> so losing it got one point from Timmy. Mm-hmm. Pan wall losing it. That was Pan Wall. Yep. I got another trailer ready. That's Ooh, good. Is this gonna, we is this have real time one? for more trailers. Uh is this a real trailer? Okay. okay. Amazing movies. Okay. They say cats. Have Wait, nine lives. This doesn't sound real, you does it? Have only one. A poisonous cat. Now how's that possible? <laughs> You're gonna be richer than your wildest dreams. Nothing's going to keep me from getting to the Caymans. Who's that guy? George He's, uh... He's scared of little cats. Leslie Nielsen's partner hey, in the... damn right I am. Gunman. You see it? I got the poison in my blood! Now start the engine and get us headed for the Caymans. Oh, my God! <laughs> I mean, they actually poisoned that poor cat, and now it's dangerous to all of us. <laughs> what are you laughing at? You're gonna die. That's hilarious. Uninvited, starring George Kennedy and Alex Cord. You'll never look at a cat in the same way again. I thought it was going to uh. be some like one of those. We found this crazy movie and are making a cool trailer for it, but it seems like a real trailer. I don't know. Yeah, look at this. Look at the still here for Blue Monkey, 1987. Somebody should Which check that out. Which one is that? I don't know. Like, oh, are they look still at that here? one. Big screaming head. Uh, Blue cool. Monkey and Mausoleum. I will say though, I do love like yeah. this. In the like, same way. <laughs> this is the this is the still they use. <laughs> this is the still they use to what? end the trailer. Yeah, just a, a cat, a blurry cat, walking. like like coming under a thing. Um, let's see. Uh, so that was called the uninvited, mm -hmm. or just uninvited, uninvited, uninvited. Who invited this cat to our boat party? Who invited their demon barfing cat to our boat party? You motherfucker. Well, pulls up now. Pulls up, holds up. Um, I don't think cats really pay attention to invitations. They just do what they want, you know? Yeah, cats don't give a fuck, man. What one a blaze friends, it. One of my friend's moms once told me, I think cats can understand us as well as dogs, but they just don't give a shit. And I think 
That's probably about right. Yeah. Dogs are better than cats. I, I agree. Cats have their own energy that I appreciate, <clears throat> you know? Shitty energy? You know, I think you're being too negative towards the animals. No, I but love no. animals, but you dogs like are so great. Dogs are, yeah, they've got their, like, dumb friends, and they're perfect, you know? <laughs> I, mean, I don't that, have a I don't have a problem with cats. I'm just saying dogs are so great. Did you guys hear that? Maybe the audio skipped out. Nate said, "I don't like cats. They're too old." <laughs> cats are too old. Yeah, I was trying to reference all the fucking concerns about you from earlier. <laughs> oh, I figured it out. I made this chair rock. Oh yeah. Bye everybody. Oh. <laughs> I bet this is such a terrible angle on me. Okay. I also can't believe you. I'm with Resident Steve on this. I what? cannot believe Chat gave that 71%. I, I I thought it was great. I, I thought it was so silly and ridiculous I that it. I was like, I'm giving that two points, but I, I did not think Chat too. would even get there. So that's two that's two points across the board. Six for Flanja. Hey, Flangerello. Well, yeah, Flanja was almost got a one watched earlier and we didn't do it. So there's, there they go. Oh, the one I had chosen actually is a flanger one too. You it, son flanger, of a bitch. You're what, right. Which one was Flanges, it? Which number was it? It was fifty-three. Flanger's um. Oh, oh, yeah. Context I you gonna is do, too okay. good sometimes. What did what did Flanger write for Uninvited? Um, nineteen eighty-seven. A mutant cat stows away on a luxury yacht headed to the Cayman Islands and goes on a killing spree. Runtime 159, featured on Best of the Worst. All right. So, so very informative. That's how to do it, chat. <laughs> yeah. First um, of all, it's clear from their context that Flanja watched the trailer, which you should always, if you're going to submit a trailer, watch it first. If you think it's too long to watch, then don't fucking submit it, because I'm going to think it's too long, too. <laughs> also, I noticed some people were like, skip ahead in this trailer. But remember this. Yeah. You can this is about add. The trailer. You can add also the time that the that the video starts. You know, like people can put in seconds. I saw yeah. somebody earlier, Charlie Watch Tonight, they actually started it eight seconds into it. So some people, you know, just, just, just put a note in that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Also, um, another note while we're talking about notes on submitting, uh, there's one that I assume Nate saw and won't do either, but this is how I felt. It's a 30-second fan trailer for an old movie that makes it look like a different kind of movie. Nopers, that's going to be a big nopers, you know? So we wait, want to see wait, the real say trailer. Say I'm sorry, I missed it. Okay, which which microphone broke or which headphones, what was broken? You just no, 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 I just, me? I wasn't no paying attention. You just don't like me. And you I've just been listen. drinking and I'm trying to pick the next trailer. <laughs> um. Okay, uh, number 42. So you read the context there. 30 second fan trailer that makes it look like a horror movie. Yeah, uh, we, we, we're, we don't do that. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're looking for also like on theme the stuff, trailers. you know, like, right. um, and I, I get that not everyone knows that there's a theme, but well, technically, no, but hold on. That film would be that film with a real trailer. I would show because that does fit under bad travel decisions. Mm -hmm. It absolutely does, you know? So, uh, but uh, a 30 second fan trailer. No, we want to see like the real trailer. We want to, we want to judge the real trailer. Yeah. All right. Ready? Yeah. I know of this movie. I've not seen it. I have seen the first one. In 1972, Delos was open to the public. It consisted of three fantastic vacation resorts. Roman world, medieval world, and west world. It was a computerized paradise where nothing could go wrong. But something did. Now, in 1976, Delos is about to reopen. We have invested more than $1.5 billion to rebuild our equipment. Its problems have been corrected. We have replaced every circuit. Its technology has been perfected. The new Delos is not only the most fantastic resort in human history, it is also failsafe. 
and an incredible new world has been created. American International presents Future World, starring Peter Fonda, Blythe Danner, Arthur Hill, Danner. and Yul Brynner as the gunslinger. Yul back. Program the blast-off sequence. Five, Five four, four, three, three two, two, one. one. We have ignition. I'm going to say this now because I know I'll forget. Future world. We should do a theme that's all about like corporations, like Whalen Dutani, Gellos, stuff like that. Umbrella. So did you know when you picked this that this is part of the Westworld story? Yeah. And a few things you can't. My knife to your pawn. Did you watch the show? Yeah. Prepare the Martian ski sequence for five guests to return power to Is that the one that just came out? Future World. I've not seen it. Did you like season three? I did. I loved it. And that's that's very divisive. Season three is very divisive. I liked it a lot too. It was like a Blade Runner TV show. It was cool. My well, Laura says $1.5 million, true. the amount of money Disney wastes per Take day in 2022. It is pretty funny how that was like. This is billion, right? billion. Oh, it said a million. No, he said billion. What was this thing? Yeah. I thought he said million. Don't no. skip back. Let safety, the trailer finish safety, first. Safety. Whoa. I think this trailer is showing you. will never harm Delos. They're duplicates. You will do what Delos instructs you to What's do. What's that guy from? Is that guy from Scanners? You will destroy your original. I will destroy my original. Peter Fonda, Blythe Danner, Arthur Hill, and Yul Brynner. Even those Yule. of us who create them can't tell the original from the... people aren't named Yule anymore? In future world. I don't know. If you can afford to Was go there, you're lucky. Yule? If you can't, you may be luckier than Yule you think. Yule Log? Yule Tide? You'll tide cheer. All right, where's the... You can uh, imagine. Fully programmed for your... Perfected. The new Delos is not only the most fantastic resort in human history, it is also failsafe. And an incredible new world. Where's that? Every circuit. Its technology has been perfected. The new Delos is not only the most fantastic... But something did. Get that. Delos is about to reopen. We have invested more than $1.5 billion dollars to rebuild our you're right you're right no problems have been corrected we Can have you say replaced that one more time every Can somebody clip that? this guy can we tell me what this guy's from i think he thinks he looks like bradley whitford but no he does look like bradley, bradley whitford, whitford but that's not who i'm thinking of all right okay good because that'd be like way off because it's like a different decade okay so Oh, I don't know. What's the name of that character? Um, uh, we don't have to look it up. Um, I would say uh, um, that was cool. Yeah, um, I thought it was cool. Too. I, I don't think I've ever seen that trailer. I, I've watched that with Sully before, but we were fucking high. <laughs> the first one's good. I haven't seen Future World, but the original Westworld is good. Yeah. Um, I don't know who that guy was. That's a good I'm submission. That's yeah. a good submission. It's interesting. A little different than most of our submissions. Yeah. I think um, a, a a theme about like corporations, where corporations are a character, you know, like yeah. Delos, yeah. that would be interesting in the future. Also, I'd love to see okay. like a theme that we do. I don't think we've really gone too hard in any sci-fi things, you know, like oh really? Okay, or like weird movies, you know, like sci-fi weird movies. But I think you know we've always tried to stay away from genre specific things. But yeah, because then it gets um, old. We got to workshop that idea. Some weird like sci-fi this one. Movies. We pushed it away from. An idea that would have mainly just been horror movies to something different. Yeah. Um, I'm going to give it's it, the problem with this trailer for me was it, it, it was long, right? Like, and I, I feel like a lot of good yeah. trailers that sell you on it don't yeah, need that much stuff. Much. Yeah. So I feel like that didn't really, yeah, it gave the whole thing of being like, oh, they're making cl- copies of us. And then that, you know, like they gave you the hook of the thing. All you really have to do is sell it as like future world. This is a sequel. So I'm going to give it one point. <clears throat> yeah, I'll give it one point as well. I mean, I'm starting to crash. That's four points to Silent Alley or Silent Ally. I think it's Silent yeah. Ally. How do you spell Ally? A L L Y. Okay, Silent Ally. There we go. <laughs> 
This movie also had the first CGI image in mainstream movies. Interesting. Wow. Sure, the robots killed everyone last time in Westworld, and I'm sure if it was all over the news, but I'm sure it's still a good vacation spot. Yeah. Great context. Timmy, will you go cuddle with cis psychopath? It's getting chilly. I'll I keep you warm, buddy. Send pics. I'm kidding. Don't send pics. No, that that's such a scumbag thing to say. <laughs> Have you sure. ever had a scumbag era? I think I'm in it. Uh, no, man, I'm too fucking. Yeah, I mean, okay, there's moments in my life where I made bad decisions, but I wouldn't call it, you know, and I felt like a scumbag, but I wouldn't say that I've had a scumbag era. And I think I would be in a scumbag era now if I wasn't a dad, because that keeps you pretty wholesome, you know? So. Womp womp. Oh, shut the fuck up, man. Just because you don't have a heart. I do it now. I do now, but I did have a scumbag era and it was fun. You know, like my scumbag era, I'm like, yeah, it was a fun time. But, you know, I can't, you know, I, I wouldn't be able to do that again, having like empathy now. <laughs> Bringus McDingus says it's never too late to start. It is. Sometimes it is. Grimward says it's less scummy to just say receive picks. <laughs> <laughs> um so i'm gonna play a trailer <laughs> that is pretty That's funny good one. receive pics uh this one is actually major sam pandering but they the person submitting probably didn't know that and sam's not here but here's the trailer i'm so awesome i cry <laughs> Right, doesn't Let seem love this movie. I know he's I'm talking to me about her multiple occasions. I'm a we saw through, her Peter when we were kids. Your mom's on the right. phone. I don't have a mom. You may have a mom. I have a mother. They've only just met. That's a word. I'm just a friend of your mother's. I came to get you to bring you home. And already, oh. they get along. Hey. Hey. Like family. I'm not going anywhere with you. What do you like to do for fun? Oh, you like the wiggle and grunt. Me too. So you and Doyle are getting along well. Ah, he's not a bad kid. We're getting along just great. Come on, give it to me, pipsqueak. So he's good at fighting. Yeah, we're taking the time. We're seeing the country. And as Doyle himself said, nothing beats traveling the highways and byways. Okay, sugar, what'll it be? What won't make me vomit? <laughs> give me the cheese. <laughs> This isn't working out. We're not masters of the highway. We were robbed by homebound hookers. Is that Only because you fell asleep and I yeah. got excited. You <clears throat> did? I didn't know that. I know we Dutch and Doyle are staying tonight. Knowing Doyle, it'll be first class. 20th Century Fox presents the story of a boy. I got a deck of racy playing cards. Who lost the child in himself and the man. Who helped him find it? Is that your most pathetic look? That's not gonna get us a ride. This is pathetic. <laughs> Try it. See, I'm not such a bad guy, huh? Dutch. That's You're such like a funny a great tagline. Big demented yeah. child. <laughs> John Hughes, are you? I just want to start that at the top, though. That that had a really funny start so to the trailer. So mad, mad, good cry. Yeah, what was that? <laughs> Let me go down. Except at the end. <laughs> Ethan Embry from Can't Hardly Wait and Empire, Empire Records. Records. Empire Records. Empire I love God Empire Records. How do we end up back at this scene? Underrated John Hughes movie where Ed O'Neill takes his asshole stepson, Ethan Embry, across the country to see his mother. Yes, it was. I thought it was uh, his mother's boyfriend, like they had never met. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I give it a point. Um, I don't know. I don't know. It's a pretty straightforward, like planes, trains, and automobiles type of movie. Um, you know, like it's it's that odd couple road trip, you know. Yeah. There's a few of them on the list tonight too that are like road trip movies. Yeah. 
Which <clears> do you guys <throat> ever do a road trip movie? Um, I feel we have. My thing is like, I feel. <clears throat> I guess I guess this counts as travel plans. But in my mind, when we were doing this, it was more about the destination, you know, than like the travel. Yeah. You know, and this is like he picks up a kid and yeah. they go back home. He likes he's like yeah. picking the kid up for like Christmas or Thanksgiving or something. In my mind, it was always like we're going to a place, and then that's where the issue is, like the place. Um, but you yeah. know, interpretation. Um, so uh, chat was fifty eight percent. Is that two points? Just barely. That's two points. And you give it? Uh, I give it one point. I'll give it one point as well. That's four points for Dutch. Four points for uh, Grody LaRude. Grody LaRude. Grody, gross me out the door, <clears throat> man. All right. How many more do you want to do each? I'm, I'm so tired. Uh, we can do two more. That I mean, well, I don't want to be like two more each, but you started, so that would be like your one of two. But I mean, it's almost midnight. Yeah, let's do. Yeah, you do two more. I'll do one more, and then we'll call it done. Okay. Okay. So that were, wait. Well, you're saying okay, like you don't want to do that, but isn't that? What no, you're no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. I'd suggest I'm saying okay. Right. Don't infer. I don't know, infer. but I'm just picking up on tone, and you know. Um, <clears throat> okay. Okay, I feel this is a good one. Oh, I'm just jinxing it when I say that, too. Yeah, it's probably going to suck. going to yep. fall asleep. <laughs> all right, everyone, strap in. We're going. Here's the best trailer of all time. This is also a uh, problematic trailer. <laughs> no, huh? I don't think you're going <laughs> out with that boy. Why? Oh, Why? 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 Fourteen and a half. Besides, uh, so he's a musician. So? So you can date a musician until all oh, other men are dead. A divorced father and his only daughter together on vacation. Stella, this is Andy. He's French. Oh, he's not French. I'm not. No. Oh, I know what French people are. There's just one problem. What are you wearing? My bathing suit. Your thing? No, she's French. All she wants is a little romance in her life. It's a serious disease. Right. It's called 14 and a half. And what is the cure? 25. She's out to impress the man of her dreams. What about you? You here with your parents? A friend. Any way she can. Yeah, see your boyfriend? <laughs> Yeah, it's my boyfriend. He's the boyfriend of that child? Oh, it's disgusting. But the more she got carried away... He knocked off a liquor store, Bro, shot the owner, and took the customers hostage. Hello? Hello yourself. The worse his life became. <laughs> Give me that. I, was, I know what you were doing. Come on, sweetheart. What did I do? This whole island is crazy! <laughs> Touchstone Pictures presents Gerard Depardieu. Promise not to you. I promise? I told Ben you weren't my father. What did you tell him I was? I told him you're my lover. Are you out of your mind? And Bro, you have to tell him the truth. That's Catherine. Done some kind of liar. You are. In the story of a man who would do anything. Just on, whatever you do, don't tell him the truth. For the love of his daughter. You're old enough to be your father. The truth is cruel. Oh, my father, the hero. I promise you won't get mad. What do I get so frightened every time you ask me that? I told him you were dying. I'm dying now. Steve Miner. Wow, that's weird. Critics have discovered the year's most Wait, why is there another trailer on the end of this? I don't know, maybe this is better. It's a TV spot, probably. It's about 30 seconds. Problematic. And plenty of heart. When I start lying, I can't stop. And ABC raves, Gerard Depardieu is irresistible. I told him you were dying. <laughs> the volume disparity between these two trailers is really ridiculous. Weird. Oh no! All right, why is the father a hero? Does that get explained in the movie? I've never I seen this to movie. Fuck his daughter. I don't the know. French are pervs. Is this Gerard Depardieu's like um, debut to, America, to American? Maybe. Is yep. it, this is really yep. his first? I'm Can you think sure. of another Gerard Depardieu movie? Uh, I feel. I, <laughs> I was just gonna say Three Musketeers because I'm sure he's been in some Three Musketeers movie, but I don't really know. Just because. Chad, off the top of your head, can you think of another Gerard Depardieu? Like, Cyrano. Oh, is he in Cyrano? Uh, okay. He's in a movie with the same title, but it's French. That doesn't yeah. count. Green card? Don't know it. But Green holy card. shit! 
that's a fucking gross. What the hell's going on there? Gross. And then they said that girl's like 14 and a half, but there's like that scene where they like show her ass with her thong. It's like, um, and then they like kind of explain it away. Like, ah, well, she's 14 and a half. She's crazy. It's like, okay, but you are making a movie. And if you were on vacation with your daughter and she was 14 yes. and a half and she mm-hmm. was like, Dad, I told them you're my lover. Like, how would you handle this situation? Would you go around to the resort and being like, I'm her dad? Or yeah, dude, would, would you be the hero? Would I be her father, the hero? That's the thing is like, he helped her. Yeah. But also gross like that no you know what i'd say no and i'd say uh you know we're leaving and i said you need to come up with a different way to you know a different way out of a situation like that than making a weird lie because you know you could the thing is is you could i've told my daughter before i'm like if you're you know uh like when we had the sex talk last week and so talk about that and making choices and stuff and i'm just telling her like you know when you're a little older and you're going to get invited to parties and stuff where there, there's going to be people doing stuff that maybe you don't want to do. And I said, if, if that happens, you can always blame it on me, right? You can say like, oh, dad's making me do this or that or whatever, you know? So she knows that she can like use me as an excuse for things, but that is a different thing than this. <laughs> you know? That is like trying to impress a dude by indicating that we're fucking you know what i mean That's do we crazy. know how old the other dude was though because he looked like he was like above 18 let's just yeah let's just say i mean obviously this girl shouldn't have been doing any of this stuff so unless if she if, if she dies and falls in a pit at the end then i guess it's okay because then you know then they're making it pretty clear she's evil said he was 25 in the movie so she's like, Dad, I'm horny oh, they did for. Say that in the trailer. She's like, Dad, I'm I'm 14 and horny for this 25 year old. Yeah. Please I need go to along with this lie. 25 year old to put his dick in my 14 year old body by saying I'm fucking a six year old. <laughs> it should be called. I mean, he may have been like fucking younger than us in that movie too. <laughs> Who? But Gerard Depardieu. How old was Gerard Depardieu when that movie was made? How, when was that movie? 90s. <clears throat> 94. It should have been called. My father is irresponsible. Please. 94. He was will 46. The state take custody. He was 46 in his American debut, huh? Yeah. Princeton Steele says, this is a PG movie rated for kids. Um, I am going to. <laughs> can anyone. <laughs> Lydia Petunia fa- said, just. My can anyone. Shitty dad. Yeah. Can anyone just imagine for a second, even considering the idea of your dad being a sex partner? (laughs) Lydia Virginia, it's not like she was having sex with her dad. It was a lie. But what I'm saying, like, even then, even considering saying that to other people. Yeah, because because you're still in saying that you are still the notion has been created. And, you know, by saying he's my boyfriend, it's like the notion's created that you've banged and that's weird. And bad. <laughs> so much therapy in this girl's future. Ooh, in jail uh, for the dad. So which submitter are we uh, banning for life because of this? <laughs> Grim word. No. Uh, what did I have selected? I lost it. Oh. 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 Let me see. I, I, no, I was. Say? Chat loved it. Chat really? was. Two points. As as a dude, like I mean, most of the chat knows is I've uh, I, I moved back home into my mom's house over COVID um, to help my mom out. She she fucked her hand up and I had to get multiple surgeries, so you know I had to help her out around the house. And one thing I think is really funny is when we go out somewhere and somebody will say something who doesn't know me or know my mom, you know, and like, oh, I thought this was your boyfriend, and I was like, oh, oh, and I'm like. Fucking no. Uh, it's so sad for me. Yeah. Um, let me see. F hero. My father, the hero, submitted by Fudgy Stuff. I will give it. Here's the thing: is the the quality of the trailer. Like, I would have given it more points, but the fucking sound quality was shit. Yeah. I feel like there caught, could have been a better trailer out there. Um, Chat gave it one point. I'm gonna give it zero points. 
because yeah, it was painful it to listen to. It was so fucking loud. Yeah. I'm going to give it one just because, like, there were a couple of funny lines, but, yes, yeah, I don't know. Fudgy stuff, I would have given you a better point. But, you know. Um, hey, your mom looks fantastic. That's a compliment to her. Oh, there you go. What the fucking me? Don't tell me. Gross. So anyway. here's my last trailer. Oh, fuck. I forgot to play the pumpkin dance. Oh, well. Wait, hold on. Sorry. <laughs> that would have been a good one. We gotta bring Skate oh, Fall back. What are you doing now? What's well, happening? I just want to read a, the the context. I keep forgetting to read the context. Some of the context oh. is great. A daughter is trying to impress a boy in vacation, and she lies saying her dad is her boyfriend, and they end up going along with it too much. What does too much mean? Too a little too much. It says. Yeah. Uh, uh, how about this is a hard all? find. All right. So this was hard to find a good quality trail of. All right. So well, they say ignore I, the I appreciate you. Season. Yeah, but I appreciate you mentioning that. But I, I didn't see it. Oh, that, hey, that if one part. doesn't throw in context is it okay hey it's your fucking funeral brother you kind of sounded like hulk hogan there you get that well, a lot actually <clears throat> it was a good uh it was a good submission sort of yeah yeah i saw this but i i saw this and i the i i didn't choose it just because i like con i want to support context yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah. No, I'm, I'm, with you. I'm with so you i'm not gonna do it i'm not gonna do it no 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 uh, all right all no right, no fine. dude i was already fucking wavering just <clears throat> okay so okay loud. i'm sorry okay. i'm sorry um those are not good submissions learn how to do this um <laughs> not gonna say who it was though um okay what's this that sounds pretty crazy um i feel we got like a some some episodes we do we get like a lot of really good submissions it's like oh shit <clears throat> mr cummy bottoms just submitted something recently without context yeah, it's, it's, um, a good, it's a good but i don't think it i don't think it um i don't think it's on theme i love this movie but i don't think it's on theme yeah i don't think it really is either Again, it should be like travel plans, like you're going somewhere, not like people in the act of moving, you know, like. Oh, I'm having trouble picking one. Um, I mean, yeah, I'm sure you guys have seen that one. Oh, I'm wondering what this. Uh, yeah, I'm interested in this. And I, 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 I've I, seen this recently. This is A24 or A24 vibes. I don't know if it's specifically. Oh, A24. oh okay. All right. Um, I'm just like out of it. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if that really. It's tough when you're down to like one and you're like, man, yeah. I really want to make a <clears throat> Oh man! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Have I hate when I find one that yet? I'm like, oh, I really want to watch oh, this, the and then see that we've already watched that something from that stuff. person. Yeah, yeah. I'd be like, oh, this is dope. Uh, okay, let's try. Wait, we don't do one of hers yet. Let's do this because there's some fun things about this. So wait, 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 wait. Are you talking about what? 18? Because we did 19. We did? Oh, look at that. Good God, man. All right, let's do 17 then. All right. 17 looks good. I've heard of the... This is supposedly pretty crazy. So, Oh, wait, have we done this before for another show? That's weird. I don't think so. No, no. Problematic. Happy birthday, Billy. <laughs> wait, hold on. I have to start again because I... Good God. I oh, I accidentally hit the problematic button. No one can see it. No, no. Happy birthday, Billy. <laughs> okay. Well, that's a good monster stuff. Can 
I incognito thinks you've watched this before. I don't recognize Mama. it. Mama. <laughs> Is this a prequel to Barbarian? <laughs> 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 Wow, look at those guys. Uh, Is that farting they're sounds? Farting? They're farting? They're farting. Full sweater. <laughs> it does give Monster Squad vibes. But so far, we're only seeing like puppet monsters. We don't There's see anything no else. <laughs> Why did the skeleton's face change? Uh, they didn't really indicate any sort of travel in that. It's in the context. Oh, you know, the cover is dope. <laughs> yeah, the cover is really great. Look, the cover is hilarious. Dope. That'd be a great uh, t shirt. Yeah. Just full of soup says, What am I actually seeing? Exactly. Um, I don't know. Spookies. People in chat so seem to know what it was. It's described as a goofy slash creepy 80s flick about a group of friends trying to find a place to party and stumble upon a creepy mansion surrounded by gravestones. Okay. Uh, yeah. It's I mean, my really problem with that is, it, yeah, it didn't really. Yeah. I mean, I get, I get like the, I, I, I it didn't come across in the trailer. No, it didn't. Uh I think people know about this because it kind of became a, a thing. I don't know. Uh, Joe Bob watched it a couple of years ago. It was all over Shutter and stuff. So, yeah. um, good good posters though. Fish full of soup, yes, but it's a little late because we're only picking one more trailer and then we're done. Um, He's asking how this works. Spookies, I will give. I kind of, it was weird uh, again. All right. So if I got the context more thoroughly in the trailer, I would give it two points, but I didn't really get any of that. So I have to give it one point. The thing is we, we, we want to understand how it relates to the theme. Why I got submitted in the trailer. Yeah. 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 So, um, chat did not like that. That only got 27. So it's one point. I'm giving it one point. One point. All right, so, so that's three. three points. And where was it? Oh, there it is. Okay. Four. Where, uh, Hendo Calrissian. Hendo. Hendo. Mm -hmm. Nate, do you Hendo. see there's someone in chat saying they didn't get their trailers picked? Um, I just didn't. You can play one of theirs if you want, but I, I didn't think any of theirs really held a lot of water. Um, uh, I don't go me. by... I don't go by person. I'm not like, who yeah, is this? Yeah, yeah. What did they choose? I no, find no, the trailer. I, I mean, that's what I'm saying As I looked at, like I've seen, I saw them complain that they weren't getting picks. So I went and looked at what they submitted and they're all oh, ones wow. that I was like, eh, eh. That's you real know what harsh. I mean? like, um, I what? I've said the same no, no, thing. No, no, you just no, said. no, no, no. I, the way I do it, <laughs> I have the the window only show me like the title and like oh. the context, and then after okay. I'm like, oh, I want to see this. Then I kind of look and see like, oh, did we already okay. do this from somebody? Yes, um, but here's the thing. Can I go back and because I mean, you, you painted me like a bad guy uh, for no reason just because it's late or something. But so uh, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying I look for the movies too. I don't fuck with my windows but like i just look at the movie titles and then i'll look and see who has submitted it but like i had looked once that person said you didn't pick any of mine i looked and at what they picked and i had already gone over those you know on the list several times because they didn't you know jump out to me so you know that's why you know you know what i'm saying now you just think they're bad at this game no that's not what i'm uh saying at all <clears throat> oh yes i mean I, i'm just saying that tonight's submissions from them were not ones that we chose you didn't choose them either you know what i mean and it's just and you don't even know who submitted it so it's like we, they just yeah. it just wasn't good ones so sometimes that happens you know but complainers uh uh that's lame what do you think nate am i being too mean about it when I see someone complaining about something in like chat or, you know, uh, something like that, it's like, oh, you know, then I'm, uh, I'm going to address their complaint, but they're probably not going to like it. You know what I mean? It's like, it's like bad customer service. Okay. I agree with you. Should you want me to leave? 
no, no, no. I agree with you. I agree with you. I agree with you. Yeah. I'm not into you anymore. I'm just not that into it. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm looking for... Um, How many drinks have you had? Are you okay? You look, you're right over there? Yeah, I'm really tired. I've had three yeah, drinks, really so it's not too. like... Yeah. Um, I just... I wanted to find something that like seemed weird and I hadn't seen, so... Uh, 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 uh. All right, I'm going to try this one. This seems odd. Never heard of this. Again, I like to be surprised. I'll In the middle of the show, I'll watch something that I know and be like, oh, let's see how this trailer is. Mm -hmm. But um, generally, I, I don't think those trailers end up making it to like trailer of the week. I think trailer of the week is usually something that like, if it's something we know, it's a super bonkers trailer. But I feel generally a lot of the trailer of the week trailers are Stuff like something that no yeah. one knows. So, right. um, and you're like, what the fuck is this? Yeah. So, you know, <clears throat> that's, that's where I'm at. That's where I'm at. Okay. All right. I want to go to bed. Okay. I get it though. I don't think I've heard of this one either. I think I almost picked this one. The hardest thing he ever had to do was say goodbye to his father. Listen, will you write me a postcard? Thank you. Sure. Oh. He was wrong. He Your thought feelings. meeting his mother's new boyfriend would be oh, yeah. harder. Come on. What do you see the trip I got Another planned? mother's new boyfriend. You know, I hope so. He was wrong again. Billy found out on this vacation. You look terrific, Billy. Yeah, real <laughs> cowboy. The hardest thing is just to survive. A new family together for the first time. Here in the Valley, hits? they'll be secluded. Isolated. But not quite alone. In the mind of a madman, they have been chosen. On a road to nowhere, they are being hunted. <laughs> it really just looks like this little boy is being hunted. In yeah. Death Valley, he will come for them. <laughs> they really hate this kid. You know what? I think I have a theory. I'll say that. Valley was a great place for a family vacation until the tourist business started dying. <laughs> That's such a bad tagline. That was this ridiculous. looks great. The the yeah. graphic is cool That's as shit. Really cool font. <laughs> so he, I think this movie is somebody uh, who's who, someone who's an adult in the mid '80s gets sick of how fucking overhyped. Or no, they'd be because they could be alive now, and they get sick of how fucking overhyped a Christmas story is, and everybody always <laughs> fucking talks about it and never shuts the fuck up about it, and they travel back in time to take him out before he makes it. That's funny. I don't know. I put that <clears throat> on with Goonies, where it's like, just someone stop, please, just stop talking about this movie, you know. So, um, that trailer was pretty crazy. <laughs> it was like. <sighs> Uh, it had hints of Hills Have Eyes. It had hints of the car. Mm. It had kind of a, I don't know, like, a, I almost, someone submitted that Kurt Russell, my wife, got kidnapped by a trucker movie. Uh, we didn't get to it, but um, it had uh, hints of that, you know, so. The funny thing to me is, so it always looks like somebody's coming after the kid the whole yeah. time, right? Yeah, you yeah, never yeah. actually, do you, do you ever actually see who it is going after the kid? I don't think they showed him in the trailer, which is it could cool. be the kid's I dad. Think that's cool. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's probably something like that. Um, this is grandpa. <laughs> it's it's. I like my Christmas story time travel theory the best. I just I want to hit the um the tagline again because it's awful. Mm -hmm. Let's see. And the kid shooting the gun. That's pretty funny. <laughs> Death Valley was a great place for a family vacation until the tourist business started dying. <laughs> that sucks. It's so bad. <laughs> oh, man. Um, I thought that was... I 
here's the thing. I've said this a few times. I, I, that trailer was very, very close to me being like, holy shit. Yeah. But the problem is I, I didn't get the payoff scene. It was close to be like the part where the kid's shooting the gun close to being a payoff or the, the, the cars chasing the kid down alone. Pretty yeah. funny. Like I, that was close to the payoff, yeah. but there was nothing that really, really fucking got me there. So I feel I was very, very close to a two point, but I'm going to give it one point. Well, Chad gave it three. They gave it 75%. That's cool. Yeah. They like it. Um, I think I give it, uh, I don't know. I'll give it two. I'll give it two. So that's a total of six. Now I got to pick a trailer of the night, man. I am so fucking tired. Can we just uh, not? We know who's going to win. Okay. No, we Uh, don't. Cause you know, mm, chat hasn't really, chat doesn't really align with me. Uh, I know, but my taste is fucking great. Whose taste? My taste is great. Your taste Niamh is great. Niamh has COVID. I'm sorry you have COVID, Niamh. I'm sorry, Niamh. I also uh, um, possibly lectured. Anyways, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lydia Petunia says, literally, just put your kid in the second floor. This movie's about bad parenting. Yeah. A couple of these movies we've seen I tonight. Think any are. movie where a child gets to a point where they're being chased alone by a car is definitely bad parenting. Yeah. <laughs> you know? If 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 the if movie it, if your child has a, a child situation, yeah. lying to other adults saying that <laughs> I fucked my dad. <laughs> yeah. That's bad parenting. Your, if your, your kid movie was wrong. has a scene where the kid has to shoot a gun to defend himself and you're there. But you're not, but the kid's still like you're with your kid, but he still feels like he has to be the one shooting a gun to defend himself. You're bad parents. You know, <laughs> it's like they should be handling that when they're with him. Was he the kid from uh, the toy or is that a different kid? I have no idea. You've never seen the toy? No, no. Oh, wow. That's a, that's a good movie. Okay. I'm in chat Sh- now. Richard Pryor's in it. All right, so Timmy, I need yeah. you to find me the top five trailers of the night. Okay, well, obviously, Starleaf. <laughs> Race with the Devil. Okay, hold on. Trailer, trailer, not trailer, trailer of the week. Starleaf was so fucking good. Yeah, Starleaf, okay. You ready? If, if you haven't seen all these trailers uh, and you're like, I don't know what to vote for, Starleaf. We'll play it again. All right, Starleaf, what else? Race with the Devil. Bloodhook. Bloodhook was great. Uh, Uninvited. And Death Valley. Those those were it. There was nothing that was, like, getting cut off. What? I only... Well, you know, sometimes it's like, well, we had, like... Uh. Six six point trailers. No, no, no. There are four right. six point trailers and a seven. And so All right, we're good. just making sure because I would okay, say like I'm sorry, if, it's just so late. Up, like I don't want to have to debate every de- detail. No, no, like, no. Yes, I'm not. I'm not I'm doing. I'm not debating you, but I just wanted to say like if we did have another trailer, I would take Race with the Devil off just because I know we've watched it before. But if mm-hmm. that's it, that's it. We're going with it. All right. Mm-hmm. So, so you chat- were debating me, but you debated the point that you were debating me. Okay. It's not a debate. I was just trying to clarify shit. All right. I'm not. It's not in contention. I was just. I know. Trying I'm to just clarify. done, man. Even Guy Incognito knows it. He says Timmy's done. I'm very tired, and I felt like that things were dragging cool. out here All right. right now. So, if you are somebody that doesn't really vote, and you know, that's the whole thing is like we will see that we're like, well, we have a bunch of people watching, but we only right. have about like 30 people voting. And there's like, you know, around 150 people watching the show. So now you actually have time. The poll is up for a couple more minutes. You have time to stop what you're doing, pull out your phone, look at chat, and actually choose a trailer and vote. Mm -hmm. Um, So I'd say do that now while we talk about what the possible theme would be for next week. So So we want to go horror-ish. Someone said bad parenting, but we just did Evil Kids not that long ago, and I think those are very similar. Um, That's a good point, Timmy. Um, we saw a lot of bad parenting in these trailers, so it's like, okay. Uh, um, look at the top of chat. You should see it's a current poll trailer of the week, and you can click on that. Oh, I thought you were telling me. I'm like, yeah, I know. Um, <laughs> There's one clear winner right now, but we still have a ways to go. Um, okay, so 
themes for next week we want to do something that's most that's spooky ish but yet could be applied to other kinds of movies right yeah i mean also if you're in chat and you have an idea for a cool theme uh well the book i just said one i like conspiracies have you guys done that before conspiracies how would you def- how how would you like what what movies are conspiracy movies like where they're trying to uncover conspiracy uh you're looking yeah. for examples yeah conspiracy theory oh, that's like literally <laughs> the one that i know that no I man of. there's tons of them no 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 oh, no but that's what i'm saying in my mind in my mind that's like yeah, the it's one maybe it's maybe not the like uh, uncovering something is that that doesn't seem very halloweeny though trying to continue talking it's not uh, a wide enough thing probably Cancel actors and directors. Well, I don't think we should ever do something like that because it'll just lead to a lot of bad, a lot of bad comments. Takes a lot of hot takes. People, a lot of bad takes. Uh, okay. Um, wow, Bloodhook is winning by five votes. Yeah, I feel dude. like people didn't see. It was Starleaf. ahead by more. It was ahead by more earlier. So Starleaf might have a come up and see. Somebody said Nate jinxed it by saying it was the best and people are just voting against me. That's fine. Unconventional weapons movies, gorious trailers. Yeah, these are all too uh, 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 narrow. And then one, and some of these suggestions are too broad, like horror comedy. Well, no, that's like, that's. I feel like it's a little too, uh, you know, Jane Sequa. Um, Rex Bosworth and Panwall kind of have an interesting thing together. Like Panwall said, shapeshifters slash yeah, transformers. Yeah, we've discussed doing this before. Holy shit, Starleaf and Bloodhook tied, man. Well, I vote for Starleaf. Me too. Well, yeah, I vote for Starleaf. All right, Starleaf wins. All right. Flying monsters. Okay, so we we talked about doing the whole shapeshifter thing before transformation. Oh yeah, Principal Rose brought that up. Uh, I like the transformation idea from last week. Says Principal Rose. Yes, we were talking about that last week. We could still do that. And I since it's like, October, I suppose. Have we done that? Can someone in chat? I, I don't know. I feel like Sam may have like. Oh no no no! That was last week when when somebody was talking about like an emotional transformation or something. Right? Was that last week? Maybe. Okay. <laughs> No, 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 no. Well, I felt like it was that, your no, conversation. The, the idea, no, my conversation from last week was about werewolves and transformation and stuff like that. Okay. Timmy's talking over Nate again. When I don't think I talked over you. Well, I mean, I I just let you go. I'll just stop talking when you talk. Well, I, I just said, hey, let me finish, you know, and then you let me finish. That's right. Okay, can I, I, I finish? I, I, I timed that person out because fuck you. Um, treasure hunting movies is kind of an interesting idea, although we're trying to go a little spookier, but uh, for this, what did I'm, Steve I'm gonna do go... says non-frightening monsters? That's kind of an interesting idea. It's interesting. Maybe um, maybe not uh, super fertile, though. You know, I mean, shapeshifters, you know, people keep I, saying that. And let I, me throw this one out, like too. I think, I think the shapeshifters slash wear transformation thing is let's put a pin in that i have another one that Mm -hmm. is um and and i'm kind of inspired by something i saw on um what another twitch channel was like they did a whole block of like of jaws ripoff kind of things you know it was just like some kind of monster like anaconda and i thought that was kind of funny but it may be too specific and make it boring so Mm -hmm. you mean like animals yeah it was like i think i did an animals one though yeah well that was like animals like hey the movie about dogs you know that's like uh love on a leash and shit but this was like you know uh all jaws i don't know i'm I'm backing off of this now i think it's too animal animal horror like animals animal yeah. attacking horror yeah yeah for sure our gate like panwell says because we did an animal one and we watched like 90 percent were just dog movies yeah yeah sure animals attack yes thank you rex bosworth i believe that's even a uh like a shutter category on that thing um i think transformation and shape-shifting is good and and people are already expounding upon it saying like well this could count as shape-shifting i've seen a few things like that yes and that's the idea so if you're already thinking of ways you could submit a trailer for it then i think that's a fertile 
I just came up with that term for this. Uh, I've used it twice now, but I think that's a fertile uh, 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 category of people already kind of thinking about what they could do, you know? Say it again. Sorry, I wasn't listening. I got to go to bed. <laughs> I was. I'm not making a joke. I was like, I was reading Fistful of Soup's like I you idea, and I'm like, we already have no, 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 no. Time. No, I've had to repeat almost everything I've said to you because you've been either drunk or your headset's broken. Or I think it's just a real. You're having a real time over there. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I'm fine. I was reading someone else's comment. I'm shifting thing is already proving to be a good one because I've already seen people saying like, hey, well, would this count or this count? Which is, that's, we're not going to tell you right now, that's when you submit trailers, you know what I mean? Like, I think this could work, you know? So. Yes. You know? Yep. All right, I think it is, uh, we're doing where movies. Not where, like, WH, because that's kind of what this category was, like, movies where they're like, where are we? <laughs> okay. Okay. Where W E R E. W H O R E uh, movies. What'd you just say? W what? Where movies. Oh. W E R E is how you say. Yeah. W H O R E movies. W H O R E. Oh, horror movies. Yeah. You think there's a movie that's like where whores? Uh, there's a very, very close one. Not like prostitutes that turn into werewolves, but normal well, people normal that turn into that gets, prostitutes. That gets bit by a radioactive prostitute and turns into a prostitute. I don't know, but Frankenhooker is a real movie, and that's somebody get full moon on the phone. Yeah. <laughs> somebody get full moon on the phone. We have uh, an idea. Full, full moon. We have an idea for a movie. You are not allowed to spend more than five hundred dollars on it. <laughs> so if we do a watch party this week, and and so another, another thing we did, Timmy, that was funny with the watch party was we were using the AI art generator, and so we were just kind of talking shit while we're watching a movie, and some chat came up with a bowling alley. This is when we were watching the lift. Somebody's like, "What a movie about a bowling alley that's possessed and kills people." So we started like just throwing out like lines and names and putting it into an AI oh, art generator to make a movie poster. And some of the posters that came out are fucking amazing. You're really tired, so I won't show you now, but we'll do another time. But um, so when I do a watch party this week, somebody remember that we're talking about where whores are first or second full moon movie. Where whores. Um, okay. Um, to me, I love you. Hey, someone's asking, how come I don't get notified? Or Meanie Meanie is asking me, how come I don't get notifications when Nate does fun shit like that? Are you subscribed to Nate's channel? Because I assume you did it through your own channel, right? Yeah, yeah, I, I do it through my own channel uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. because it's like everything we, everything done on the Whitest Kids channel is Whitest Kids stuff. So, like, right. you know, sometimes you and Sam have been like, yeah, we're not really available. You should do it. And I'm like, I'm not going to do a show right. on your channel myself and not have anything to it. And we have done that before, like, you know, kind of like weirdo, you know, kind of trailer things. Um, uh, but, yeah, I mean, it's Nate Blackest, I think is my name, right? Let me put it in uh, chat. Sure. Is it? Shout out yeah. Nate Blackest. Uh I don't know if we have that command on our night bot. There we go. Dejan Tandu. Is there we go. Name? That's me. Um, I actually said it from my own name. You know, I think I should, maybe I'll change my name. I'll change my Twitch right name. Right now? Right after you all told everybody how to get to you? You're well, I feel if me? somebody follows me on Twitch now and I change my name, it'll still update. Oh, yeah. Mind. It doesn't matter. Um, who are you going to? Are we going to raid somebody? What's going on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, the people, so we, we've been raiding the last couple of times, other like movie streams. That's right. been really fun, but it doesn't look like anyone's on right now, which is kind of a bummer because we've had some really good luck. I've ended, I've like ended mm -hmm. the show and then ended up staying for like two hours watching. Like, you know, I watched the end of, uh, the remake of Suspiria last week and I was like, this movie is bonkers. Um, so I really like Sicko Vision. That's that's a fun channel to watch. And I would say subscribe to them now because as they get more popular and it's a better show, you know, eventually like the powers that be will take it offline. So, yep. um, but they do have like a network of other stuff too that, you know, will do blocks of things. Like last night I watched it for a while and it was all like hardcore music documentaries and music videos. It was so good. Um, but 
Also, um, a friend of the show, Carl DeLinden, has recently come back to the Cackle Keep. Uh, you know, Forest of Wires, Timmy? Yeah. He's uh, He's been off hiatus, and so he's back with new lore movies and stuff. Oh. Very fun shit. Yeah. So um, uh, that's an option. We also have, uh, let me see... Uh, Wiz World Live, The Sixler. Uh, go with that's, Forest uh, of Wires. Forest go Wires? to Forest right. of Wires. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Chattaguchi. All so right. the winner by dictatorship decree from the two of us yes. is Co Dictatorship. Uh, Starleaf. Yes, Starleaf. So fucking dope. Which um, I said would win. And I True. said hey, hey, we'll be I watching it. it again. And we will be watching oh, it again you know what? next week. Or I wanted to watch show. it again tonight, but I've already started the raid. No, man, Maybe I you guys could ask. You guys oh, might be also, able to ask. I won't be here next week. Shit. I got to take next week off just because of so much work and stuff going on. Well, I'll let everyone know. Check you the raid out. Sam, though, too. Trailer so we'll Boys. Yeah, if Sam's this. available, do it with Sam. Uh, if Zach's available, we'll do it with Zach. If neither of them are available, I probably won't do it alone. Just jerk um, off on screen for a while. But you know what? I'm home all weekend without a car next week, so I'll 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 wow. be doing something. Hey, how's driving going? I'm great at it. I'm I'm pretty sure I'm the best driver to ever drive. That's good. You know, that's how you start being um, a horrible driver. <laughs> I'm aggressive. Yeah. And I see people's okay. weaknesses and I take advantage of them and I drive yep. right in front of them. And I learned that Teslas, when you change lanes in front of them too close, they slow down for you. They make room for you. The guy doesn't have to even slow it down. He doesn't have to put the brake on. The car does it for you. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you very much. I don't know what's happening anymore. Okay. I Timmy's don't know why go I got bed. so fucking tired. I got like, I like hit by a truck. Ooh. Sleep is great. It's the best thing. It is. Well, I'm love you guys. Like I'll see you maybe first. next week. Keep an eye on the subreddit. We'll update you with okay. what the details are. Uh, next week, next show, uh, where movies. And remember, don't submit until you see it on the Misery Loves website telling you what the theme is. Because if you don't, your trailers. We'll, we'll purge it. Okay. Uh, you burped. Do, do, do.